Doble honor a él también, amén Este, miré, ya, eran como las 10 de la noche Y yo estaba ya quedando dormido Y, 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 y este, estaba el Marco Polo Estaba predicando la palabra Aleluya Gracias al Señor por, Porque lo que, el trabajo que andan Las, las obras de Dios que andan haciendo Tremendo, tremendo este trabajo que andan haciendo Gracias por mi familia que sigue veniendo a la casa de Dios una vez más Porque sin Dios hermanos no seamos nada Sin Él no podemos hacer nada en esta vida Aleluya Gracias mi padre Yahweh por mi esposa, mis hijos que me han regalado Amén Y todos los santos de, de, de la capital de México que se la mantengan fuertes, mi, mi tío Máximo. Amén. Que sigan viniendo en la palabra. Este, hablé con mi prima Cristina. To, eh, siguen viniendo a la, a la casa de mi tía. Y se siguen uniendo. Mirando la prédica. Amén. Eso es lo que se va a requerer. Que sigan como familia o escuchando la palabra. Aleluya. Porque Yahweh hizo lo más posible de sacarte a ti de las tinieblas. Amén. Para su maravillosa luz donde tú puedes... Venir a la casa de Dios y puedes oír palabra de Él ¡Aleluya! Examinarte si estás en la fe o no Hermanos ya para andar, este, 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 andar en el mundo con, Especialmente estando triste hermanos No dejes que Satanás te venza a Sina ¡Aleluya! Hermanos la vida es muy corta para vivir miserable ¡Aleluya! La vida es muy corta para vivir con caras ¡Aleluya! Enojado Amén. Dice la hermana, dice, no sé quién, quién estaba testificando. Es mejor de enseñar amor, amor con, con hechos de en vez de palabras. Dice mi abuelo, las palabras se lo lleva al viento. Amén. Amén. Hay que estar aquí por una razón y una razón nada más. De convencer a nuestro Dios que nosotros este, 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 seamos escogidos para. Para seguir su palabra Así como si este, este, nuestro, nuestro padre Yahweh Vino con Silimón De día y de noche Aleluya, Aleluya dijo tú te, tú, Yo te escogí a ti para que Sacrificaras Amén, Amén. Abre sus Biblias hoy en esta mañana hermanos Para dos de crónicos Siete Y doce Siete y qué? Siete, dos, siete y dos, siete. Ajá. Y doce. Yahweh, Yahweh es bueno, hermanos. Es muy bueno, más para los otros que los otros hacemos para Él. Porque los otros, hermanos, estamos abajo de la carne. Aleluya. Y en veces, dos veces, Satanás. Y volteamos nuestras caras de nuestro Padre Yahweh. Y a Sina no los, no los, no los quita de, de esta tierra hermanos Porque él ya murió en el Calvario Aleluya Porque él sabía que los otros Desde la, de la nacencia que los otros nacimos hermanos Del vientre de nuestras madres Íbamos a nacer en iquidad Por eso cuando él estaba en la cruz hermanos Él oró para cada uno de los otros Aleluya esa oración los tienes que guardar en tu mente que sigue para ti para siempre. Aleluya, si, si Satanás quiso vencer a nuestro, a nuestro padre Yeshua y venció a Satanás, nosotros también podemos hacer exactamente. Amén. Satanás no es tu hermano que está aquí enseguida de ti o tu hermana. Aleluya. Debemos de acordarlos que nosotros peleamos con cosas espirituales en altos lugares. La, la, la mamá Washington estaba diciendo, seamos un cuerpo chiquito hermanos. Allá en Pacula y en, y en, y en, y en, y en uh, México. Seamos un cuerpo chiquito hermanos que conocemos uno a, lo, a los otros. Y sabemos qué, le, qué es el débil de uno al otro. Pero la cosa es de la palabra te, te enseña que te fijes en tú mismo y no a los demás Cada uno de nosotros hermanos tenemos una, una batalla que pelear 
El, esa batalla hermano es contra tú mismo y no nadie más Cuando nosotros agarramos esa batalla y ese pensamiento hermanos Mejor vamos a estar en este lugar Porque no nomás estamos peleando por, nuestro, por tú mismo hermano Estás peleando para llegar a la vida eterna Y se va a llevar un sacrificio que tú tienes que hacer Aleluya Ajá cuando estés listo, ¿qué es lo que dice la palabra ahí en esta mañana? Second Crónicas 7 uh, y, uh, y 12. 12. Ajá. Y apareció Yahweh a Salomón de noche. Dice, y se le apareció a Salomón de noche. ¿Qué no, ¿Qué no ves, hermanos? Cada vez que, que este, menetamos en la palabra día y noche, también Yahweh se manifiesta en nosotros por día o de noche. Amén. Es algo que nosotros tenemos que hacer, hermanos. Él todo, él todo el tiempo está ahí por los otros Pero lo, los otros no para Él La palabra todo el tiempo debe de salir de la boca El fruto que nosotros necesitamos que enseñar Al prójimo y especialmente a este mundo perverso Porque la generación más y más se está perdiendo De la palabra de Dios hermanos Es tu trabajo que tú te pares como un soldado de Yahweh Y sigues para adelante Amén, porque todo es posible con el, con el nombre de Yahshua el Mesías que te da fuerza Amén Y se le apareció a Salimón Ajá. Y apareció Yahweh a Salomón de noche Ajá. Y le dijo Y le dijo Yo he oído tu oración Dice yo he escuchado tus oraciones Hermanos, Yahweh ha escuchado las oraciones de cada uno de los otros hermanos Especialmente, aleluya, allá en México y en Pacula Acuérdense, todos ustedes no son de Pacula No han oído ni Pacula, ni la capital de México Aleluya Pero Yahweh es un Dios digno que escuchó la oración de cada uno de ellos ¿Por qué? Porque Yahweh no te va a dejar perder cuando tienes un corazón honesto Yo sé que yo sé que miras al prójimo y dices, oh, tú tienes algo que hacer y tú tienes que algo que hacer. Pero esa persona tiene un corazón honesto, por eso estamos sentados aquí en esta mañana. Por eso está escuchando por Facebook esta mañana. ¿Por qué? Porque tienes un corazón a escuchar la palabra de Dios. Nosotros no somos ricos, ni somos artistas y fuimos al colegio, a la prepa. Nosotros hemos rechazados de este mundo Alguien que no puedan mirar y dicen Estos nunca van a hacer nada A mí me decían que yo era un tonto para la escuela Pero mira ahora donde estoy Aleluya No es por mí Porque si fuera por mí mejor yo estuviera en mi casa ahorita dormido Amén Pero él escogió a cada uno de los otros hermanos Porque él sabía que íbamos a pelear esta batalla de fe Aleluya Fe es algo que no puedas mirar hermanos Sabes que existe Pero no lo puedes tentar Así no debemos de ser Contra Satanás No lo miramos Pero entra en tu vida cuando no estás menetando en la palabra día y noche Por eso cuando dijo Salomón Yo escuché tus oraciones Deja que nuestras oraciones Que nunca paren de nuestras bocas hermanos que siga saliendo las oraciones Porque cuando el ser querido hermano que Alguien que de verita queremos en nuestras vidas hermanos Como nuestras esposas, nuestros hijos Ellos se ponen malos ¿Qué es lo que hace uno? Les unta la frente con aceite y comienza a orar Por tus hijos o tu esposo o tu esposa Aleluya Que nunca se pare tus oraciones Pues es algo muy importante hermanos que siga saliendo la palabra Yahweh y Yahshua de tu boca Amén Alábelo a hoy porque Él vive hermanos Alábelo hoy porque Él te despertó en esta mañana Alábelo hoy porque estás sentado en la presencia de Dios Estás escuchando por Facebook la presencia de Dios La palabra de Dios Aleluya. Yo me digo, ¿por qué escogió a Yahweh una persona como yo? Yo me digo todos los santos días, hermanos, ¿por qué escogió una persona maldito como yo? 
Amén. Pero él escoge, él escoge, hermanos, los que están quebrantados. Aleluya, quebrantados de corazón. Por eso venimos a escuchar la palabra para establecer, aleluya, la palabra en nuestro corazón. Porque es muy fácil venir aquí, escuchar, e ir al mundo y ser, y ser diferente. Aleluya. Es muy fácil de venir y decir amén, aleluya, a todo lo que está predicado. Pero cuando llegas a tu casa, es otro diferente. Porque la batalla no es contra los otros hermanos, es contra Satanás. Que anda rugiendo como león en estas calles. Yahweh, y, Yahweh y, el, y, y, el, y Satanás todo el tiempo están hablando de cada uno de los otros Dice Yahweh, ¿de dónde vienes tú? Y dice Satanás, de allí, de acá Y por las calles Queriendo dividir, queriendo dividir lo que ya fue establecido por el Espíritu Santo Aleluya Ajá Aleluya Yo he oído tu oración Yo he escuchado tu oración Y el elegido para mí a uh, este lugar por casa de sacrificio he escuchado nuestras oraciones hermanos si tú estás aquí es porque él escuchó tus oraciones ahora tú tienes que enseñar a Yahweh que tú vas a sacrificar tu vida amén yo sé que Satanás nos pone cosas en medio para que los trompiésemos pero con menetando la palabra, unando tú sabes, eso es una cosa que necesitamos que hacer hermanos Amén. Para que tú tengas fuerzas del Espíritu Santo Tienes que unar hermanos Amén. Aleluya para que te siga usando Este vaso no sirve si no tiene agua Si no tiene agua no sirve para ti Así nacemos contra la palabra hermanos Si no unamos hermanos y negamos a esta, en, en, esta, este estómago Aleluya, no podemos ser dignos y no podemos, no podemos dejar a Yahweh que los use como un vaso que Él necesita que usarlos. Cada uno de nosotros somos un vaso, hermano. Cada uno de nosotros, hermanos. Éramos soldados para, para, para Satanás. Ahora necesitamos que ser soldados para Yahweh. Venir aquí y gritar su nombre. Nosotros gritamos más, este, más para, los, este, para el juego del, del vaquero de los vaqueros de Dallas O este, en el fútbol Grite y grite te oyera hasta la esquina del, del, del camino Ajá. De tu casa Tú dices ¡Gol! Y grite y grite Y brinque, brinque Todos los retratos se están cayendo Amén en vez de andar gritando en el mundo Hay que gritar adentro de la iglesia hermanos Adentro de la iglesia es donde debemos de gritar En vez Dale este, este vaqueros de Dallas Tienes que decir Yahweh Yahweh Porque los, 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 en que, aunque, aunque, aunque ganen los vaqueros de Dallas No te pueden ayudar a ti Aleluya Dice, 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 mi, dice mi papá Dice ayer Ayer ganaron los vaqueros de Dallas Le dije, pero yo no gané nada Aleluya, Aleluya. Aunque ganen o pierden Yo como quiera no, no, saco, no, no saco nada de allí Pero sí lo que saco es algo de Yahweh y Yahshua Aleluya. Aleluya Él es el que me va a dirigir por este camino Aleluya Este camino hermanos, Aleluya Está Satanás y está Yahweh Ancho es el camino que llega a la perdición Y todos, y todos van ahí, dice la palabra Pero es tu modo de ser que te llega allí Es tu modo de hablar que llega allí Amén Porque si tú estás en este camino angostito Vas a, vas a enseñarte tú solo Que no peleamos con espirituales Que no peleamos contra carne y sangre Que no peleamos con nuestra familia es muy, es muy malo cuando uno se pelea entre familia hermanos Aleluya como gatos y perros Muy feo hermanos Y uno guarda, y uno guarda rencor Aleluya No se hablan por meses Por años Aleluya Yo conozco una señora que no Ella y su hermana no se hablaron por 20 años Nomás por una cosita Aleluya. Yeah. Yeah. A que no será así, hermanos. 
Si estamos peleando la misma batalla de fe Ajá Así yo quedaré en los cielos Para que no haya lluvia Si él, él, él Yahweh era todo poderoso Que hizo la lluvia que se parara De una palabra Aleluya Una palabra, una palabra hizo todo el mundo Aleluya Hizo los cielos y los siglos hermanos Con una palabra eso los, debe, eso los debe decir que Él tiene poder en lo que Él dice Amén Porque un día estamos aquí y un día no El hombre propone pero Dios dispone Por eso debemos decir lo que sale de nuestra boca Si es tu voluntad Yahweh Si tú quieres que yo haga eso Si tú quieres que yo haga eso Entonces lo voy a hacer Si no es por ti, si no es por tu espíritu Dirígeme en otro lugar cada vez que vinimos a la, a la casa de Dios hermanos Tú debes decir Ayúdame a sacar de este rencor de mi corazón Ayúdame a sacar esta, esta perversa que tengo yo en mi corazón Esto malo que tú eh, me, me miras a mí Ayúdame a sacarlo Eso es lo que debemos de decir Ayúdame a sacar Si no es tu voluntad Ayúdame a sacarlo Señor Porque yo quiero ser un barro nuevo Aleluya Yo quiero ser usado por el Espíritu Santo Pero tú tienes que sacrificar Tu esposo no puede sacrificar por ti Tanto que, que, tanto que Apóstol Washington ora por los otros Y los obispos oramos por ustedes Nosotros no podemos sacrificar por ustedes Es algo que tú tienes que hacer Nadie lo puede hacer Tú, tú tienes que seguir sonando esa puerta Para que Él abra Tú sigues teniendo, metiendo en la palabra para que Él te escuche. Amén. Sí, yo sé que todos tenemos que trabajar en algo. Aleluya. Porque dices, oh, yo, eh, eh, yo, soy, yo, yo soy perfecto. Tú, te, tú tienes que trabajar para ser perfecto. Y cada cosa que hacemos, hermanos, es una decisión. Amén. Acuérdase, si es una decisión mala, Yahweh no te la puso. Si es una decisión buena, Yahweh te la dio. Amén. Ajá. Y si así yo quedaré en los cielos para que no haya lluvia. Uh -huh. Lluvia. Y si me mandare a la langosta que consuma la tierra. O si enviare pestilencia a mi pueblo. Si cuando uno no es este, es este obediencia, no se obedece a la palabra, Yahweh manda cosas para los otros. Uh -huh. Yahweh manda cosas para que te mande tu atención Oh, no, te, no quiere hacer caso voy a, mandar, voy a mandar algo que te va a doler Amén No, que, no quieres obedecer Ahí te va Te duele el cuerpo Te duele un pie La cintura El, el brazo, el codo Cualquier cosita, aleluya Tú tienes que decir Yo sé por qué me está pasando eso te tienes, que examinar, te tienes que examinar tú mismo y no a los demás. Tú dices, ¿por qué me está pasando esto en mi vida? ¿Por qué trabajo y trabajo y no tengo dinero? Porque tengo un agujero en mi bolsa. Porque no estamos haciendo lo correcto, lo que Él está diciendo, hermanos. Aleluya, examínate tú mismo. Es muy fácil de venir a, a enseñar que tú estás haciendo todo Pero en la oscuridad Es cuando se refleja quién eres tú Decía mi abuelo, dime con quién te juntas y te diré quién eres Aleluya Y Yahweh los dice también Yo sé con quién te estás juntando Yo sé quién eres Amén Yo sé quién eres Ajá. Aleluya. Uh, si se humillare mi pueblo. Dice, si se humilla mi pueblo. Es lo que necesitamos que hacer, humillarlos, hermanos. Humillarlos. Humillarme mi pueblo. Yo era una persona que no sabía cómo humillarme. Yo todo el tiempo me andaba levantando el cuello. Amén. Yo no sabía humillarme. ¿Por qué? Porque si una, un hombre... Del mundo se humilla Dice, oh ese hombre no es nada Esa mujer no es nada 
ustedes todos saben y me están escuchando aquí y en México que para humillarse es una batalla es una batalla hermanos aleluya como dice que el, el, el perro se le mete la cola entre las piernas y sigue corriendo así la necesitamos que ser los otros hermanos humillarlos dice oh si me humillo van a hablar mal de mí si me humillo van a decir esto y lo otro hermanos que no que, que no te importe qué es lo que digan de ti lo que importa es que es lo que diga Yahweh de ti porque él tiene la última respuesta él va a decidir si va a ser, si va a salir al cielo o vas al infierno él va, a, él va a decidir si te va a bendecir o no porque la palabra claramente dice yo te, yo, te, yo te he puesto en tu presencia bendiciones y este uh, uh, yo te he puesto bendiciones y maldición en tu presencia es en, en, está en ti que lo que vas a hacer está en mí que lo que voy a hacer Por, porque está presente Vida y muerte Nosotros necesitamos que escoger la vida Dice mi cuñado Ramiro, el maestro Ramiro Dice, sin él no hacemos nada Y es verdad, hacemos un grano de tierra De polvo Nacemos y de polvo volveremos Cada arrodilla se va a arrodillar Cada lengua va a confesar que él es nuestro Padre Yahweh Ahorita que estás vivo Tienes que decir Ayúdame a sacar todo lo malo de mí Ayúdame a mirar tu manera Y no la mía Porque hay en veces hermano La palabra sí corta Sí corta la palabra Y, y, y no digas que no porque sí Porque yo volteo para los lados Y yo no soy el único que está llorando Aleluya yo no soy el único que está peleando contra lo que está escrito La palabra está escrita para allí, para los otros hermanos Aunque te guste o no te guste Decía mi abuelo, decía mi abuelo Si hablan de ti y te queda el saco, póntelo Amén, si te queda el zapato, póntelo Amén, es porque de ahí es De ahí, de ahí es ese zapato de ahí es esa chamarra Aleluya No puede decir, oh está muy cojo esta chamarra Está muy grande estos zapatos No, 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 no De ahí es Y no es de nadie más, es para ti Aleluya Ajá Aleluya Si se humillare mi pueblo Ajá. Sobre el cual mi nombre es invocado Ajá Y oraren y, y que qué? Y orar. Y que oren, hermanos. Y buscar. Y buscar. Mi rostro. Su rostro, hermanos. Cuando Él venga, yo quiero mirar su rostro. Yo me acuerdo ese día cuando mi vida fue transformada, hermanos. Era muy bonito ese día para mí. Y mis oraciones es, yo quiero mirar su rostro un día. Esas son mis oraciones. Guárdame de, este, de, este, de esta generación perversa Porque cuando vas, tú vas para la tienda nadie quiere, nadie quiere hablar de Dios Nadie está escuchando palabra de Dios O escuchando cosas espirituales Anoche hermanos Yo fui para un, pa un, pa un este, Donde lavan los coches Donde lavan los carros Para que me entiendan yo fui para allá y, y yo di, di, dije, me, dice mi esposa, lávame la troca. Y entre mí dije, no, yo no quiero ir. Pero dije yo, dije yo, voy a vestirme y, y voy para ir a lavar el coche. Hermanos, yo no quería ir, pero estaba una señora ahí que necesitaba que escuchar la palabra. Puse, era morena la señora. Y yo, yo sé, yo sé, el apóstol Washington me ha enseñado cómo pescar. Cada uno de nosotros somos pescadores y hombres, hermanos. Tú sabes cuando, el, cuando tú vas a pescar, tú le pones este, una, este, una carne, un elote o este, uh, cualquier cosa para que, para que pesque ese pescado, ¿verdad? 
Aleluya. Para que pesque. Si no pesca contra ese lote, vas a poner carne. O a ver qué le, qué le pones para que, para que pesques ese pescado. Esto es lo que nosotros tenemos que hacer, hermanos. Aleluya. Era morena la señora. So yo puse este, música de inglés. Da una música que dice: Don't call the road. No hables, no, no hables mi nombre si yo estar ahí. Y yo comencé, este, yo comencé este, este, tocar esa música cuando yo estaba limpiando la troca y pasando la respiradora. Y luego de repente yo sentí que alguien estaba ahí y volteé y la señora estaba llorando. Y, y, y sin conocer a esta señora. Y me abraza y puso su cabeza aquí y comenzó a llorar. Y a mí también me hizo llorar. Y dice Tobías, dice, dice, apá, dice, yo sé por qué así te es eso. Y yo le dije, ¿sabes qué? Oiga, le dije, yo no iba a venir para acá. Yo ni iba a, ir, a levantarme a ir a lavar el coche. Pero algo entre mí, el espíritu me dijo, levántate y ve para allá. Ve para allá. Esa señora le di la dirección. Este, le, le, di, este, le, le, le enseñé unos videos de Apostle Washington predicando Amen. Aleluya Ahora la cosa es que cuando uno pesca hermanos No dejes que se, se, se desganche ese gancho Amen. Tú sigue plantando esa semilla contra esa persona Amen. Aleluya Amen. Y deja que la palabra dé el agua para que crezca esa semilla es lo que venimos a hacer todos los santos días hermanos Martes, jueves y domingos Venimos para que, para que la agua sea en, en esa semilla que ya fue plantada en nuestro corazón Dice que nosotros necesitamos que ser como ese árbol que estaba en un lado del río El, Ese árbol estaba bien verde Y bien fuerte ese árbol porque estaba a un lado del agua Esta es la agua Esta es la agua Ese es el pan Aleluya Ese es el agua que necesitamos que tomar hermanos Sin esto los ahogamos hermanos Yo digo, yo decía Yo decía un desfrase decía, decía yo Yo soy como un pescado sin agua ¿Qué es lo que pasa cuando un pescado no está dentro del agua? Se va, se va, se va a morir ese pescado necesita que estar en el agua para que viva Y así nacemos los otros Si no estamos en la iglesia Los moremos hermanos Los moremos hermanos Y si no tenemos la palabra Los ahogamos Los ahogamos Los ahogamos con nuestros modos de ser Los ahogamos Por el modo de pensar Imagina si, si nadie de nosotros teniéramos a Yahweh y a Shua en nuestras vidas como tuviera la iglesia Maldito, maldita la iglesia Si no tuviéramos a Yahweh y a Shua en nuestras vidas Había este, mucho, mucha violencia Amén Peleando con uno al otro en, No enseñando respeto Amén Si tú enseñas respeto Y tú amas al prójimo Aunque no te amen a ti Es que tú tienes el amor de Dios Aleluya Y yo sé que dice Oh, eh, no merecen Pero si tú quieres Que Yahweh te dé que, que, que enseñe misericordia sobre ti Tú también tienes que enseñar misericordia sobre ellos Amén Ajá Aleluya si se humillare mi pueblo. Y si se humilla mi pueblo. Sobre el cual mi nombre es invocado. Ajá, que no es el nombre de él, está invocado en los otros hermanos. ¡Aleluya! Cuando tú estés pasando por tu tribulación, y Yahweh, ayúdame. ¡Aleluya! Yahshua, libérame. ¡Aleluya! Yahshua, camina conmigo con, por, esta, por este camino angostito. ¡Aleluya! Amén. ¡Aleluya! Yahweh, Yahshua está aquí en la boca, hermanos. No maldición No maldición No en nombre de tu hermano O de tu hermana Que salga Yahweh Yahshua de tu boca 
y vas a mirar cuánto, qué tan qué tan este vas a qué tan gran vas a brillar tú sobre todas las tinieblas hermanos cuando una persona dice yo miro la luz en ti aleluya a, ayer hermanos yo fui a dejar una maquinaria en un trabajo que voy a comenzar el lunes y yo miré a un, a un muchacho que yo fui a la escuela y me dijo yo miro la diferencia en ti yo no he mirado a este señor yo no he mirado a este muchacho en ya hace como unos 15, 20 años pero dijo mira cómo estás te, te miras gordo dijo te hinchates de la cara y dice ya no haces droga verdad dije no ya no hago droga Amén. Y es, boni y es muy bonito cuando alguien te pueda mirar así, que te mire la luz en ti. Porque claramente Él dice, ustedes son la luz del mundo. Y no puede ser escondido de este mundo. Si nosotros, si nosotros los escondimos de Yahweh y tenemos vergüenza, al final Él va a tener vergüenza de ti. Amén. Y no se maravillen hermanos cuando el mundo no te quiera a ti. No se mare bien, no, no, se agarran, no, se, no se agarran por sorpresa. Si odiaron, si odiaron a Yeshua, que no puedan odiarte a ti también. Dice, a mí me odiaron primero y por tú alabándome a mí y tú siguiéndome a mí, a ti también te van a odiar. Aleluya. 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 Ajá. Y or, oraren, oraren y buscaren mi rostro. Uh -huh. Y se convirtieren a sus malos caminos Ajá. entonces yo orir desde los cielos Ajá. y perdon, uh, perdonaré sus pecados dice entonces yo voy a escuchar sus oraciones hermanos para que él escuche nuestras oraciones hermanos tenemos que tener unas manos limpias tú sabes que nosotros venimos a la presencia de Dios y tenemos manos mugrosas él no quiere nada de los otros ni tu ofrenda ni tus alevanzas aleluya no quiere nada de ti cuando tú tienes unas manos mugrosas cochinas ¿Cómo tú vas a trabajar todo el santo día y teniendo aceite, tierra y luego vas a querer venir a, a, a hacer de comer y darle a la familia no tú tienes que darle lo, lo, lo bueno a tu familia así como tú debes darle lo bueno es lo que debes de hacerle con Yahweh y Yeshua amén Límpiase las manos, dice la palabra de Dios. Y arrepiéntete de todo lo que tú has hecho. Amén. Y dice la palabra, si un hombre, si un hombre me roba a mí. Y si sí, el hombre sí roba de Dios. Roba, roba en diezmos y en ofrendas, hermanos. Aquí, 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 este, aquí en Lubbock, hermanos, tenemos un, este, donde podemos comprar este... Este, sabritas, dulces y refrescos Aleluya. Aleluya Y cuando ese dinero no se pone ahí Estamos robando contra Yahweh Los fondos que levantamos en las esquinas hermanos Si tú puedes dar, da Porque qué es lo que hacen Cuando tú te vas de ahí Qué es lo que van a hacer Van a ir a comprar Van para la, van pa la tienda van, a, van al cine Van a ir a comer. Si sí tenemos para dar. No esperas que den los demás y tú no pones. Amén. Si tú trabajas, tú debes de poner. Yahweh te dio ese trabajo. No era, no era por ti. Es que Yahweh te dio ese trabajo, hermanos. So, tú tienes que poner. Aleluya. Ajá. Aleluya. Uh, y se convirtieron sus malos tus malos caminos entonces yo oír desde los cielos y perdonar sus pecados y sarne sus tierras uh -huh. ahora están abiertos mis ojos y atentos mis oídos a la oración en este lugar dice entonces están mis oídos mis oídos y atentos a sus oraciones hermanos aleluya entonces están abiertos sus oídos y sus oraciones ¿Por qué? Porque tú te arrepentiste de tus pecados Y sigues veniendo a la casa de Dios para que te enseñe Que lo que debes de ser Aleluya. Ajá. 
Aleluya. <coughs> Porque ahora es el erguido y santificado esta casa. Uh -huh. Para que esta en ella mi nombre para siempre. Dice, entonces tú fuiste escogido para que tú sacrificies tu vida. Uh -huh. Y este lugar. Este lugar. Ajá. Tú debes de ser la luz adentro de la iglesia y afuera de la iglesia. Aleluya. No nomás cuando vengamos. Aleluya. Aleluya. No cuando es lunes, este martes y jueves y, y domingo eres la luz. El lunes, el jueves y el viernes eres un diablo o una diabla. Y no trabajas así. Tú tienes que ser la luz todos los santos días, hermanos. Desde el momento que tú te levantes, tienes que ser la luz y tienes que hablar. Dirige mis pasos, ya, güey. Yo sé que Satanás me está esperando. Amén. Cuando uno se levanta, Satanás está allí. Si no está allí, está en tu carro esperándote. Si no está en tu carro, está en tu trabajo esperándote. Pero yo, 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 yo te prometo que Satanás va a estar allí. Porque. Hay el bueno, si hay el bien, hay el mal. Amén. Si hay Yahweh, hay un Satanás. Amén. Ajá. Y mis ojos y mi corazón están ahí uh, para siempre. Y mis ojos y mis, o, y mis oídos van a estar ahí para siempre. Aleluya. Aleluya. Lo que tú pidas de todo tu corazón, Él te da el deseo de tu corazón. Pero hay que ser un vaso nuevo, hermanos. Quítate de todas las cosas que te, que te que detengan para hacer la obra de Dios. Rechaza todo eso. Este teléfono te quita de hacer la obra de Dios. Andando en Facebook todo el santo día te quita para hacer la obra de Dios. Mirando uh, porno te quita la voluntad de Dios. Poniendo cosas en Facebook que no debes de, de poner te quita la obra de Dios. Andando en el fuego, en la televisión, te quita la obra de Dios. Y uno dice, oh, yo, no, yo ya no tengo fuego, pero aquí están los fuegos. Aquí están los fuegos, hermanos. Aleluya. Ajá. Y si tú anduvieres delante de mí como anduvo, David tu padre. Ajá, y si con los... Tú sabes que David, él, 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 él pecó y se arrepintió lo que él hizo, hermanos. So, él por eso, por eso le componieron esa alabanza a David. David alanzaba porque él, él, él sabía que él necesitaba que danzar y glorificar a nuestro Padre Yahweh. ¿Por qué? Por el mal que él, él hizo. Hermanos, cuando tenemos esa cosa en nuestras mentes, el mal que tú has hecho... Vas a venir con un testimonio o con una alabanza o, o con un testimonio para ayudar al prójimo. Aleluya. Aleluya. Todos Amén. tenemos que tener un testimonio, una alabanza, porque vamos a ayudar al que está mirando por Facebook o nuestros, o nuestros hermanos. Aleluya. Ajá. Y así eres todas las cosas que yo te he mandado y guardes mis estatutos y mis discretos. Dice, y guardes todos sus estátulos, sus estátulos sus, son sus, 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 este, sus mandamientos, hermanos. Aleluya, que guardes todos sus mandamientos a Yahweh. Ponlos, ponlos aquí y en tu corazón, porque yo sé que es muy fácil olvidarte, hermanos. Aleluya. Es muy fácil olvidarte. Si, tú, si, Yahweh, si Yahweh te escogió, es algo que tú tienes, tienes que acordarte, hermanos. Aleluya. Ajá. Y yo confirme el trono de tu reino. Ajá. Como parte con David tu padre. Uh -huh. Diciendo. Diciendo. No te faltará varón que gobierne uh, en Israel. Ajá. Mas si vosotros os uh, volvieres y dejaréis uh, mis estatutos y mandamientos que he puesto delante de vosotros. Si, si nosotros dejamos. El, el modo de ser de Yahweh, aleluya. Es muy fácil de estar abajo de la carne si dejamos su modo de ser. ¡Aleluya! Es muy fácil, hermanos. ¿Y qué es lo que va a pasar? Ajá. Y uh, fuerís y servirís y dioses arenos. Y, y los... dice: Si te olvidas de mis mandamientos y mis tuatas, tú vas a servir a otros dioses. Yeah, 
Tu Dios puede ser tu esposo. Tu Dios puede ser tu esposa. Y también tus hijos. Cualquier cosa que ponemos delante de Yahweh es tu Dios. Tomando mucho es un Dios. Porque estás poniendo a, 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 a emborracharte más que a Dios. Hermanos, no dice, la palabra de Dios no dice nada de, de tomar cerveza o vino. Porque si Él convirtió agua de vino y Él tomó, podemos tomar, pero no lo podemos poner, no los, no los podemos briagar. Si no sabes briagar aquí en los Estados Unidos, empedarte, ponerte borracho. Tienes que ser tentado poquito. Aleluya. Y Él hizo esas cosas por el estómago. Amén. Para, para, para sanarte de todo lo que tú estés pasando. Pero algunos de los otros hermanos, este, los, 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 este. Nosotros tomamos ventaja de esas cosas. Todo lo que Él da es por poquito, hermanos. Aleluya. Nuestros, nuestros coches pueden hacer nuestros dioses. Amén. La comida puede ser nuestros dioses. Si tú eres una persona que te gusta comer y comer o comer, ese es un Dios. Amén. Si te gusta fumar cigarro, ese es un Dios. Porque, ¿por qué? Porque te está sacando de la voluntad de Dios. Él no quiere que alabes ningún Dios, especial, especialmente un estuatua. Amén. Ajá. Uh, y fuerís y servirís a dioses ajenos y los adorares. Ajá. Y vas a adorar eso más que a Dios. Por eso, cuando nosotros adoramos algo más que a Dios, hermanos, ¿cómo los encontramos en la iglesia y afuera de la iglesia? Miserables. Miserables los encontramos hermanos ¿Por qué? Porque no estamos dando nuestro 200% Contra el Espíritu Santo Y si te encuentras miserable Si no sirves a Dios Como debe de ser Te vas a encontrar miserable Te levantas del otro lado de la cama Enojado, enojada Todo lo que, todo lo que se te presenta Te fastidia no puedes a mirar a esa persona porque te fastidia. Aleluya. Aleluya. Eso es algo que nosotros necesitamos que trabajar, hermanos. Por eso venimos a la iglesia para ser enseñados con para pelear contra Satanás. Porque como Satanás quiere entrar en mi casa, también quiere entrar en tu casa. Y te quiere sacar de la voluntad de Dios. Si él se llevó tercero de las estrellas con él cuando él fue rechazado del cielo, hermanos. Y él es espíritu. Ahora, imagínense qué es lo que va a hacer con carne y sangre. Imagínate qué es lo que hace, hermanos. Ajá. Uh, más si vosotros os volvieres y dejaréis mis uh, estatuos. Y mandamientos que he puesto delante de vosotros uh -huh. Y forís y servís a dioses ajenos Y los adorís uh -huh. Yo os arrancaré de mi tierra Que os he dado Dice entonces si tú adoras a, alguien más, a algo más Que a mí Yo te voy a sacar de la tierra que yo te di Ahora si, si tú no vas a servir a Dios Él te va a sacar Y él sabe o oh, esta persona no me va a servir porque él, él no mira por afuera, Él mira del corazón, hermanos. Si Él sabe que no lo vas a servir, Él te va a sacar de aquí. Tú quieres ser desobediente, te va a sacar de aquí. Pero yo también miramos la misericordia sobre Dios, sobre uno de los otros. Por eso, ¿quién seamos nosotros para andar juzgando uno al otro? Si la misericordia está sobre Él o ella. Amén. El bien y el mal también lo tenemos aquí en la iglesia. Las ensañas y el trigo tenemos en la iglesia. Dice, no, saque, no saques al, al, a las enseñas porque mata al trigo. Dice, las enseñas y el trigo para que crezcan juntos y que aprendan de uno al otro. Tú miras a ese hermano o esa hermana haciendo algo que no debe de ser, tú debes decir, oh, no voy a hacer esto yo. 
no voy a hacer esto yo porque mira cómo está haciendo él o mira cómo está haciendo ella. Todos tenemos que enseñar de unos a los otros, hermanos. La, la, las enseña mata al trigo. Horca al trigo. Por eso el, el que tú plantas, puedes plantar este cebolla, chiles o lo que tú quieras plantar y salen ramitas, tú vas a sacar esas ramitas. ¿Por qué? Porque va a matar a lo que fuiste plantado. Pero la escritura dice, no, 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 deja a los que enseñen, que se, que se mantengan juntos y que enseñen de uno al otro. ¡Aleluya! Debemos de aprender de uno al otro que estamos sentados aquí, hermanos. Ajá. Aleluya. Y um, yo os arrancaré de mi tierra Ajá. que os he dado. Sí. Y esta casa uh, que he santificado a mi nombre, yo la orejaré de mi presencia. Dice, esta... Esta, 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 esta iglesia que fue sacrificada en mi nombre Aleluya. La iglesia es en tú mismo hermanos Aleluya. Si tú no lo vas a alabar, Él te va a sacar de la presencia de Él Aleluya. ajá Y la pon, pondré por burla y escarnio de todos los pueblos y, se, y te va a hacer burla de todos los pueblos Aleluya. Porque es muy fácil decir, oh, esas personas no están fuertes ¿A poco tú eres fuerte? ¿Amén? ¿A poco tú eres fuerte? Así como nosotros podemos mirar el débil en ellos y en aquellos También ellos miran el débil en los otros y en aquellos Pero la cosa es ¿Qué es lo que tú estás haciendo para que la gente mire la luz en ti? ¡Aleluya! Y si tú juegas con Dios Él, te, él, él va a ser una maldición de ti y luego la gente va a decir, yo sabía que no era nada de ti. Yo sabía que la iglesia donde vas no predica la verdad. Porque claramente nosotros tenemos una iglesia que lo, lo que dice la palabra, que todo lo que tú hagas, hazlo en mi nombre. La iglesia es la infaible, verdadera iglesia, verdadera. De la fe apostólica. Aleluya. Lo que significa que no vas a encontrar nada mal o lo que está enseñado aquí ¡Aleluya! Si dice la palabra de Dios que no vas a encontrar malo lo que nosotros predicamos Y tú andas haciendo otras cosas, estás blo, este, blosmafiando contra el Espíritu Santo Ajá. Aleluya Y esta casa que es tan excelsa uh -huh. Será expa, eh, espanto a todo el que pasare y dirá ¿Por qué he hecho así Yahweh esta tierra y esta casa? Y se responderá, ¿por cuánto dejaron a Yahweh Dios de sus padres que los sacó de la tierra de Egipto? Ajá, ¿qué no es que cada uno de nosotros estamos en Egipto, hermanos? Ajá. Estamos, eh, éramos cautivados por Satanás. Ajá. Así como Moisés sacó a los a los a los a los este a los a los este a los israelitas los sacó de captivos que tenía fe, Ferón así vino Yahshua y les dijo sáquense de la mano de Satanás porque cada uno este éramos cautivados contra contra Satanás antes que conociéramos a Yahweh estamos abajo de las manos de Satanás pero él hizo el camino para cada uno de nosotros para que conociéramos la verdad Amén. So, por eso debemos de mantenerlos fuertes en la palabra y todo lo que fue enseñado. El ministro Carlos, este, muchas gracias a Yahweh que está ahí manteniendo, manteniendo, manteniendo fuerte en la palabra. Porque cuando uno está solo, hermanos, es muy fácil de ponerse débil. Pero ahí está uno al otro para ayudar al prójimo. Y estamos aquí a ayudarlos unos a los otros también, hermanos. Aleluya. So, a, a ponernos de acuerdo a que seguir comunicándonos con ellos Amén. este por Marco Polo o por Facebook o no sé cómo se comunican ustedes Amén. llámales aleluya porque es, podemos si sí podemos llamarles donde hay donde 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 se puede se puede con Yahweh Amén, Amén. es todas las palabras que Dios me ha dado aleluya. que te ayude y que y que te que te que te guíe por este camino que ya fue establecido aleluya, aleluya. Well, let's all rise and receive Apostle Washington by saying, Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Praise Yahweh, saints. Amen. Everyone can be seated. Amen. Amen. We want to thank the Lord for those words spoken by um, Apostle Flores. Um, we are grateful for uh, the, the truth that the Lord has given unto us. And um, I want to give dub honor to all the bishops that labor with me in this Amen. way. And, of course, I want to um, thank Yahweh for uh, Minister... Uh, Matoya and amen, amen. Uh, Thino and uh, Maximo out of Mexico. Hallelujah. Uh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Um, I'm grateful for their, their label of love. And I, 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 I want to say to them for them to be strong and continue on in the faith. Uh, we look forward to making that trip back to Mexico to be with our brother in there. Um, there's a great work going on there. And it's important, saints, that we uh, we do our part here. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Remember that we 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 can't go there just on prayer, Amen. you know. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know when Yeshua sent his disciple out, he said, "Make sure y'all take your purse with you." That was it. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah, because we can't go to the airport and say, "Can I fly fly free?" They're gonna say no. They, they probably call the police on us and yeah. escort us off the premises. Amen. So the Lord. <laughs> The Lord said, when you go, make sure you take your purse with you. Amen. Amen. So, but uh, uh, I, I want to thank the Most High for the work that's going forth there. Yes. And I thank Yahweh for this house. Yes. Amen. Place of establishment. Hallelujah. He saw a fit to establish here, and, and I love it. Amen. And saints, I don't care what you may say, what you may think. Amen. The church is the best thing for us. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, um, it's sad to say that that um, all that comes to the Lord will not go back with them. That's right. Amen. Amen. But Come it's on. in everyone's power to go back. Yes. Because we, we have a choice yes, to serve him. Hallelujah. Amen. And to serve him the way he wants for us to serve him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Pharisees, they also worship God. And yes, they did. They had their way of worshiping God worshiping God, and she would instruct them, he said, search the scriptures, search the scriptures. because most of the time, you know, we lean on feelings and emotions, and that's what we walk by, we think just because, you know, we get this feeling in us, if it feel right, we think it's God, yeah. Yeah. hallelujah, and we forget that Satan is a deceiver, so God, God is not a feeling, Amen. he is spirit, but he's not no feeling, hallelujah. And um, in the way the Lord told them to search the scriptures, for in them you think that you have eternal life. Amen. The scriptures are the very thing that Yeshua, the Messiah, said that testifies of him. Hallelujah. Now, he's not in the flesh no longer. He's, he's not preaching no longer. No, he's not. Amen. He preached for three years, and after three years, he was crucified. He was buried and then rose the third day. Amen. But he did leave a message for us. Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. I want to call your attention to the book of Matthew this morning, the 13th chapter. And I guess we're going to go ahead and um, I guess we go ahead and start reading at the 18th verse. And these are his words. And it's important, brothers and sisters, that we we listen with our heart. Yes, Lord. Listen with some understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because keep in mind, as I said before, everyone is not going back with the Lord. Mm -hmm. not, not all of us. That's right. We can if we write. Yeah. Remember that when he returns, he's coming back for the righteous. That's right. Not, not just church goers, the righteous. Amen. That's right. You know, you can go on a job and you don't go there right, you won't be on that job long. Not too long. But you oh, went yeah. there. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. But there's a way that you have to conduct yourself when you get there. When oh, you, yeah. When you yeah. clock in, they expect you to go to work. Yeah. It's not time to talk about what you did last night and mm -hmm. hallelujah and all Amen. that kind of stuff. Right. Amen. Amen. Then you're not going to lock your boss when they no. get on. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. So you go to work. You go to work with the right mind, you know you go there to perform. Mm -hmm. 
right. Hallelujah. Right. To do your part, what they hired, hired you to do. Right. right. That's right. You do that, everything goes well with you oh, on, yeah, on, right. a, on, a, on a job. Amen. And that's the same way when it comes to most, the most high. Amen. 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 We got to come to serve him, not, not ourselves. It's not, it's not about what we want, what makes us happy. It's all about, you know, walking the way he wants you to walk. Amen. It's important that we understand it. So he began to talk about this parable, and this is what he said here in this book. Matthew 13 and 18. 13 and 18. It's written. Uh-huh. Hear you, therefore, the Hear parable you, of the soul. this after he had shared to the people that came out to listen to him. Yes. He shared with them about this parable. Now he's, he's going to explain this parable. And brothers and sisters, let's get every one of us here this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If he was here right now, this is what he would tell us all. Yes. I'd be sitting over there, and he'd be up here speaking to us. Amen. Uh -huh. But he wants us to hear this parable. Yes. Yes, what did he say there? When anyone hears when the word of the kingdom. When anyone hears the words. Of the kingdom. Are y'all getting this? Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. He didn't say words of your father. No. Your mama. No. No. Your best friend. No, no. Words talking about the, the words of the king. The words of yeah. the kingdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We open this book up. We 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 reading the words of the kingdom. Yes, Lord. His kingdom, not our kingdom. It's not about our kingdom. Not about what you like, what you want. Amen. How you want to live. That's right. What makes you happy has nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with nothing. it. Nothing. We're talking about his kingdom. What, Amen. What, what he's coming back for. Hallelujah. If anyone. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom. Read it. And understands it not. And don't understand it. Then comes the wicked and one. And don't understand it. And understands it not. Why, 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 why we come to church? Amen. Come on. Is it not to come to be taught? Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's why we come. Yeah. What's the purpose of coming to church? You didn't come here to hear. Amen. What the spirit has to say to you. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. Serve no purpose. Yeah. I didn't graduate because I didn't go to school with the right mind. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. I, I, learning geography wasn't good enough for me. I thought it was a waste of time. Amen. Mm -hmm. So I didn't put no effort. Try to learn nothing about geography. Amen. Mm -hmm. Learning what? <laughs> what can Abraham Lincoln teach me? That's how I thought. Well, I got to learn about that man. He don't know how to drive a car. <laughs> that's, my, that's how I was thinking. Just, yeah. just foolish thinking. Why well, gotta learn history? Uh-huh. It's a waste of time. Mm -hmm. Those that went to school with the right mind, they went there to be taught. They graduated. Yes, they I did. didn't. Mm -hmm. This morning, standing before y'all, a high school dropout. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I didn't want to learn. Amen. It works the same way, come to church. Yes. You don't come here to be to be taught how you ought to walk. Mm -hmm. How you ought to live and yeah. I'm not going to tell you what I think. We're going to read it. Amen. Yeah, that's right. So that way you can't say, well, that's how he see it. Well, there's only one way to see this thing. Amen. If you see it any other way, you're not seeing right. Amen. No scripture. No interpretation. Amen. No scripture. The Lord coming back for the righteous, not, yeah. not, not church goers. Amen. Coming back to those who heard his word mm -hmm. and repented. You got to repent. You got, yeah, you're going to have to change your ways. You have yeah. to change. You can't remain the way that you are and think you're going back. I mean, stop thinking about this here. If the devil was kicked out of heaven because of sin, what make you think you're going to end sin? Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. If the devil kicked out of heaven because of sin, why do you think you can go there the way you are? Amen. Amen. Right. Heaven is a, a, it's a holy place. Holy place. Right. And when the Lord returned, he come back for the righteous. The righteous. He's coming back for those who heard the word, repented. Believe the gospel. Amen. Amen. What it says there. When anyone hears the word of the when kingdom. When anyone hears the words of the kingdom. And understands it not. And don't understand it. Then comes the wicked then one. Then comes the devil. And catches away that which was sown in his heart. Here comes the devil. So you Amen. come to church and you, can, you sit here. And the word go forth and you spend your time talking about what you don't understand. Uh -huh. Amen. What Amen. you don't see. Right. Yeah. I didn't understand, hey, man, uh, uh, a lot of stuff in school. Amen. I didn't want to try to understand it either. Amen. So I didn't graduate. <laughs> right. You just got to trust the teacher when she say two plus two is four. <laughs> trust. 
<laughs> That's the teach up there. Yeah. <laughs> you come up with all crazy numbers because they make sense to you. <laughs> but it's not going to work in the world. It's going to be wrong. Yeah. No. Huh? Yeah. You went to the store, store and you bought something for $3, and they gave you $2 back, and you want to argue that they owe you more money. <laughs> Who do you think the police are coming back for? Because you think they owe you six dollars. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> you think that. Yeah. You ain't gonna get along in the world. No, you're not. You're not Same way when it comes to heaven. You never we'll never get along with God. Amen. With our ways. Amen. You come to church to be taught. Amen. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and understand it or not. Then here and comes then comes the, the wicked one. Here comes who? The, the wicked here, one. Here comes the devil talking to you. And catches away that will Here comes the devil heart. talking to you. Yeah. I was hearing Sister Bishop's testimony this morning. Mm -hmm. Which was a good testimony. Yes. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Yeah, you, you, you got to tell the devil to get behind you because he's going to talk to you. Yeah. How many of y'all have don't understand that yet? They say he's going to come talk to you. <laughs> That's a guarantee. Probably talking to you right now. What I'm talking to you. Uh -huh. Amen. Oh yeah. How many of you? How many? How many of you don't understand that that uh, that we don't wrestle against flesh and blood? Uh, how many? When you, Amen. When you think about the devil, you you, you picture a face of somebody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> your husband's face stands out. Uh huh. Your wife face stands out. <laughs> your boss face stands out. <laughs> That police officer that pulled you over this morning for speeding. Yeah. You, you, his face stand out. You come to church, I ain't with nothing but the devil saying, but you ain't going to tell the church you were speeding. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't going to tell the church you were speeding. <laughs> <laughs> I was on my way to church, now you died the devil. Somebody else in his saying, and get all of us to say amen. <laughs> <laughs> because you've not been honest. Uh, Speed limit says 65. And you go and you drive an 82. Uh -huh. Yeah. And use that as an excuse that you was furthering for the Lord. Yeah. By breaking the law. Yeah. And the truth is, you got up late. Uh huh. You hit that snooze button again. Yeah. Hey man, the, the same button get you in trouble on your job for being late. Uh huh. It's the same button that got you a ticket this morning. Yeah. Uh huh. Amen. Y'all ain't been talking about this yeah. yet. Huh? Right. Yeah. God, y'all, we Almighty God's coming back for the righteous. Amen. Now all of us are gonna react after when we hear the word. Amen. You gotta choose which one of these people you are, which one of these these grounds that you are. Yeah. But the wonderful thing about it, you don't have to be. Yeah. You can, it's a choice. You can yeah. change. Yes, you can. It's, and that's in your power. Amen. No one can make you do it. When I come to church, I come to hear what the Spirit has to say to me. And I don't question it. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, read it. And this is he that received seed that by the wayside. Received the seed by the wayside. But he that received the by seed at the wayside, stony places. By the wayside. By the wayside. Just, 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 just sitting around. Yeah. I ain't active in nothing. Uh -huh. I come to church, but I ain't active in nothing. Just, yeah. just here, just the wayside. Amen. 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 The scripture said, let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Everything. Those on the wayside just ain't going to do that. Yeah, I don't yeah. understand why we got the same. Uh -huh. Why we just have the same. Because he's worthy to be glorified. Yeah. That's why. You can't do it when you're dead. The Bible said the dead know nothing. Right. Huh? You can't praise him in the grave. Right. Amen. He won't, amen. He wants you, he wants you to praise him while you're alive. Yeah. Spirit said, present your body a as a living thing. sacrifice. Holy it's Lord. a sacrifice. Yeah. And you got to present yourself to God as someone that is holy. Yeah. And it's your, it's reasonable, your service. reasonable service to come in here and sing a Amen. song to you. That's right. That's why it's called praise service. Uh -huh. You come in here to praise him. Yeah. Praise him for what? All that good stuff he's been doing for you. Uh -huh. Yeah, Keeping you alive. Thank you, Father Yahweh. Right. Yeah. 
All of that. That food you like, you know, eating down, throwing down. Throwing down. All of that, you praise him for that. Hallelujah. That's right. Amen. You praise him for all that he has done for you. Yeah. Because he is worthy. To be praised. To be praised. Amen. That's why you do it. We had a mother in church, she backslid because we told her she had some bands. Yeah. Got mad, but she had no problem at the club, the no flats. Problem. Showed up at the flats at the club right on time, got on that dance floor and, and whipped, whipped, and whipped it. <laughs> Had no problem in the flats in the club. No then problem. she come to church, you heard us teach that the Bible said to praise him. Tell you what the Bible praise said, praise him in a dance. Yeah. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> Had, no doing, Had no problem doing it for the devil. I mean, that's what got me. Amen. I was always at the club every weekend. Uh -huh. And I was whipping it. <laughs> Real good. <laughs> then I came here and I was taught that I should be whipping for the devil. Uh -huh. <laughs> I should praise the Lord in a dance. Uh -huh. Now I get up and I clap my hand and I praise him in a dance. Yeah. Because he's worth it to be praised. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I'm not by the wayside, so the devil can't just take that out of my heart so as I hear it. I, I come to church to serve him. I, I come to church to be taught how I should live. Amen. Hmm? Am I yes, right Lord. about that? Hallelujah. Amen. Is that why we're here? That's why. Amen. Amen. Bible says, let the old and young pray. How is that? Every do you, do you ever get too old? No, you never get too old. <laughs> if you pray the Lord and then you fell over dead, then you did right. <laughs> It's better if all over dead in the club on the club float. Yeah. Be sure you died doing the will of the Lord. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Even you're pregnant. Uh huh. The Bible said Elizabeth, she rejoiced and the baby jumped with joy. Uh huh. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh, John jumped with joy. Yes, he did. Yeah. yeah. You don't you know you can get the mother can be so happy about this thing that the baby inside will rejoice also. Amen. Yeah. Yes. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Elizabeth said when she heard the good news, she said the child leaped yes, with joy. Mm -hmm. Amen. Leap with joy. <laughs> Amen. Who that testified with Sister Rebecca? Who, who that testified about their kid? That was that was a uh 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 Misty. Yeah, she said, Oh, she said, that, that's me. That boy got that. Yeah, your kids get everything from no, I'm telling you. Some of y'all young people, y'all think you're not like your mama. Yeah, <laughs> yeah thank you not like your daddy. Uh -huh. But let other folks hit it. Other folks. <laughs> 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 My Bible said, let another mouth I'll praise you. you. Not your own. <laughs> you know your, your, your mouth been lying to you ever since you was born. Yeah. Still. <laughs> Still lying. <laughs> Why well, you got to control that thing? Yes, you do. That thing will get you With in the trouble. Bible. The Bible said that every creature under the sun has been tamed except this thing. Can't, can't tame it, it, it takes the Holy Spirit to tame this thing. Yeah. It just makes up stuff. Yeah. Fire man. Yeah. It's a whip. It makes up the stuff about other folks, but most of it, it makes up stuff about ourselves. I know I'm nice. Come on, man. Yeah, I just look at the side of the head. Then you get mad why they rolling their eyes at you. Uh, yeah, so they got the problem. Yeah. I'm just telling you. Yeah. Y'all hear me talking here, saying? Yeah. Watch the word reading. But he that receives the seed in the stony places. By stone. This is another person. Stony. Yeah. Well, they got a heart of stone. Amen. Yeah. Stony places. The same as he that hears the, the, the word. Think about it. You don't. But the wonderful thing about it. We're talking about the grace of God. Amen. Yeah. You don't have to be this person. That's right. You got to be honest, acknowledge, first of all, who you are and what you are. Amen. And that you need the Lord's help. Yes. You're in the right place to get the help. Yeah. But you got to do something with the heart, though. Yeah. I can preach this gospel that I turn blue. If your heart is not right, you'll never obey. Amen. That's right. Never obey. You'll never change your mind. Right. No one can preach this gospel better than the Lord. And what do they do? They hunger. Yeah. 
Yeah. They hated him. He said, you hate me because I tell you the truth. He, he, when he spoke, he spoke the truth about mankind. Yes, he did. He spoke the truth about it. That's why the word, when we hear it, it pricks our hearts. Amen. Yes, Lord. Sometimes we, we have to cry, don't we? Amen. Sometimes we got to get out of here because we, we're so cut up. Yes. But that's the truth about it. Amen. You go around talking about the folks don't know me. What well, the spirit do? That's why your heart is pricked. All God knows everything about you. Knows everything about you. Bible said the word of God is quick. It, it, it didn't say the word of Jones. No. The word of Harvey. No. Word of Moses. Uh, 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 Romero. Uh, Robert. The words of the word of God is quick. And it's powerful too. Yeah. Sharper than any two-edged sword. It pierces. Even the it is a discerner. It know how you think. It know what. Why you sitting there thinking, country? It's a battle between you and the world. Uh huh. Okay. There's a battle going on. Yeah. Now, the, the devil that's in you and the Holy Spirit that's speaking to you. Amen. That's when you got to resist the devil. Amen. You know the devil. He talked to you. Mrs. Mm -hmm. said, kept saying, "I got to don't say you leave me alone. Get behind me. You got to. You don't tell the devil go away. He won't go away." She was talking about, well, that's for so-and-so, and, and that for Susan so and so and that for brother. Why are we like doing that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why, 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 why are we that way? I know that was for Sarah. <laughs> no. It had to be. It had to be. I felt it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm? Hallelujah. Um, oh, y'all listen to me? Yeah. I know that for them jinking kids. <laughs> uh, why, why are we like that? Yeah. Father said, examine yourself. Not everybody else. Examine yourself to see whether you be in the faith. You be in the faith. He said, prove your own self. Whether or not the Messiah is in you. Miss was talking about how she didn't like that. Devil. She said, I know it's the devil. Of course you know when the devil is talking to you. Because you know what's right. I all know what's right. We know how we ought to walk. We know how we should present our bodies. Uh, yeah. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all listen to me? Mm -hmm. Watch the word, read it. Amen. But he that received the seed in the stony place, uh -huh. the same as he that hears the, the word. The same as he that hears the and word. And immediately with joy receives it. And get happy. Amen. Yet, has he not Get happy. Some himself. of us like that. Yeah. Came here and heard the word, got happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Receive huh? it with joy. Yeah. Told a preacher to preach it. Uh -huh. yeah. That's how I had you. Preach it. Yeah. I know that's the truth. Yeah. Nothing but the plain truth. Yeah. So help me God. Yeah. Then we say, well, that's what God's trying to do. Then you, <laughs> because you ain't got no root. Yeah, yeah, he has no root in himself. He ain't got no root. But in turn. Don't you know you got to have some root in here because Satan's going to come after you. Yeah. Don't you know you got you going to have some root? If you don't have no root, he going he gonna to pluck you off. Oh, yeah. How you know, Pastor White? Because he had that been time he plucked me up because I wasn't rooted enough. Thank God I changed my mind not to be this grand. I made up in my mind not to be that one to come in church and rejoice. Hallelujah. Then when my trial come, I get plucked up. Amen. So I had to change, amen. I'm going to be the good grand. I had the amen. power to change that. Amen. The day I stand before you all this morning, I'm that good grand. Yeah. I'm not that man on the wayside. When I hear the word, I know I hear the word, and I don't spend my time questioning what I'm hearing. No, Lord. I cannot question what I'm reading. Amen. I got eyes to read, and I can read it uh, right along with the preacher. I ain't going to close my book because they're reading, because that verse is getting, getting on me. Amen. I'm not going to close my, close my eye because I'm reading something that's getting on me. Amen. Uh -huh. Right. The best for the spirit to get you now, then you have to wait to stand before God. Because you can repent now. You can, you can get right now, but you if you wait to the day when you have to stand before God and give an account, it's going to be too late. You're going to get it right at all. Today is the day to do it. You're going to ever, ever change your way. Ever. Today is the day to do it. Today is the day of salvation. Paul said, Behold, now is the time. Now is yeah, the not acceptable time. time. God accepted you now. Now is the acceptable time. Mm -hmm. Why are you waiting for someone else to get right so you can get right? Well, he changed further than I changed. No. You saved yourself. 
I, I love my wife. She love me, but she ain't gonna wait till I get right so she can start doing right. Y'all heard, heard a testimony, a very powerful testimony. Don't talk about that. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. What if they outlive you? Uh -oh. <laughs> is that how your foolishness make your race hard for you? What did Peter tell the people on the day of Pentecost? He said, save yourself. From this unborn generation. You're too busy looking at what everybody else is getting away with. Why they get to do that? Because they choose to be that grand. They choose to be that. True. Now, what is your choice? Right. It's real simple. One thing I refuse to do, I refuse to let, amen, the works of others discourage me. Amen. You know, the brother minister in Mexico, he's learning that. You, you can't make nobody do right. You can't make nobody talk right. You can't beat them to make them act right. Can't enough cussing in the world ain't gonna change their way. They can go to jail and still come out messed up. Yeah. Only the Lord can help a person. Only the Lord. He's the only one. The only one. He's the only one that can save you. Only one. But that person gotta wanna be saved. Yeah, amen. Yeah. Yeah. Understand that. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And the Lord is dealing with that right here. Uh-huh. Yet he has no root in himself. Because this man, this is stony places. Stony. Yeah. Stony. Because the man don't have no root. Mm. He, but endures for a he while. He endures for how long? For a while. Just for a while. This, is that some of you here? For when tribulation. You do this thing for a while. Uh, you all right to tribulation come. Or persecution don't arises. Don't everybody smiling at you. You ain't got no problem smiling back. No. Yeah. Don't everybody talking sweet about you. You have no problem talking sweet about them. <laughs> don't everybody giving. You don't have no problem giving. Right. It's that tribulation to get this person. Or, or persecution arises because of the word. Oh, don't let them roll their eyes at you. That's it. You need church for that. <laughs> yeah, shut down. You got to understand, brother, since you've been taught, we do not wrestle. That's not what you... Oh. If you see flesh and blood, the devil is talking to you. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. Guaranteed. Hallelujah. But endures for a while. It endures for a while. But when tribulation or persecution so tribula arises. And, and, uh, what, not, not on tribulation, but what? Persecution. Or persecution. Persecution uh -huh. arises. Some of you can drive the freeway. That's a persecution because too many people out there. <laughs> You think everybody on the on the freeway? Look at him. He's he's trying to slow down. Yeah. What he doing? What he doing? <laughs> what <is> he doing? <laughs> they doing it on purpose. <laughs> and they have a heartburn. Yeah. yeah. That's what it is. You. Know? <laughs> For some reason, they chose out of everybody to pull in front of you and just hit their brake. <laughs> I just hate Black Friday. <laughs> All them folks at Walmart. <laughs> You could have went to Walmart on Thursday, on, on Sunday, Thursday. <laughs> oh, yeah. And got, you know, the cheese you needed, amen, for your lasagna, but you didn't do that. You waited till Black Friday when everybody else going to be there. <laughs> you got a problem. Oh, no, they, and they better have every lane open, for, op, open up for you, too. Yeah. All 12 of them. <laughs> Oh, 24 of them. Y'all hear me talking about this? Yeah. Yeah. Persecution. Uh, they because of tribulation. That, they, they closed that lane because they saw you. Yeah. Yeah. And they want you to go get in that long line over there. Yeah. 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 Where does the Lord come back on Black Friday? Uh -huh. He said, I'm going to come in an hour 
that you have, you have no knowledge of. Amen. We don't know when the Lord comes. That's why the Lord said, so be ready. Be ready. When you go to the store, you better go right, go to the store with the right spirit. Because the Lord just may come. He just might come. Oh, y'all listen to me, brother and sister. Yeah, he ain't coming back on for folk that cuss the people out. You're going to be left back here. Oh, yeah. The Lord said, bless and curse not. That what he said? That's what he told you to do. Yeah. You got to learn to do that. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you're persecuted. Yeah. You got to learn to do that when tribulation comes. Yeah. Yeah. Learn to bless. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Bless and curse. Yeah. You got to make yourself do it. It's not, it don't come naturally. No, it Amen. Doesn't. Come on. No. Righteous holiness never come natural. Only time it come natural when you practice it Amen. and you got it in, in you, it become part of you. Then it come natural. That's right. Amen. Oh yeah. You know you first on the job is hard, huh? Because you got to learn. Yeah, right. That's why many quit. I quit. Uh -huh. I can't get that. Well, everybody else got it. Why you can't get it? Yeah. I remember when I moved to Lubbock Love, Love, and I got a job at uh. I mean, you got to have some kind of pride about yourself, right, Paul? <laughs> got, got a job at, a, at a Borden. And I, was, I said, yeah, I can do it. They told me, well, it's kind of, you know, kind of hard. I said, oh, no, I can do it. I'm, I'm thinking about the scripture. Perhaps I call you young man because you're strong. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to show them I can do this. Yeah. Got there and that milk come out of that plant <laughs> on that belt and it's five high. Yeah, five stacks. You got to get that hook and grab it and, and like drag it from probably from here, from this wall all the way to that wall over there, maybe a little further than that. And then you got to stack it eight high. And you got to grab, and that thing don't stop. stop. That belt, uh, uh, that thing just, cont well, it keep, whipping it keep yeah, keep spitting them out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, well, I started off, I, I, I can do this. That's, that's, that ain't no, ain't no problem. See, my, my body wasn't used to it. No, oh, just simple. Just drag it off and drag it off. <laughs> just, just gallons of milk. Oh, who don't like milk? <laughs> Saying all the right word. Uh -huh. About 30 minutes. <laughs> and I'm looking at all them other guys who got some experience that have been there for a long time. They get, they get that hook, grab that. I'm looking at it with a Spanish man there, little old bitty fella, like DJ side. <laughs> <laughs> little old bitty thing. <laughs> Carlos. <laughs> so I try to do like Carlo did. I grabbed it and chopped it anyway. <laughs> then you gotta clean it up. At the same time, you gotta still catch your stuff. That belt don't stop. That belt keep on coming out. Yeah. I said, I quit. That's what I mean. Like, ain't nobody can do this. But the spirit kept looking, telling me, look at Carlo. <laughs> and I'm looking at this little, little old bitty man. <laughs> I, know I, can, I know I can whoop him when we get in the fight. <laughs> I can fold him and put him in one of those milk carton things. And, yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Because he was making me look bad. Then he trying to explain to me how to do it, and I didn't want to listen. But I'm thinking, how's this little man going to tell me? But he knew what he was doing. And then he would take it. We had to stack them five high. To, eight high to come out five. And he just had one nut and hit chuckle over there. And then just turned right in front of the other one. Click. <laughs> <laughs> So many, and then he'll grab it and one and just throw it up on top and it twist and click right on top. <laughs> click. And I'm using all my muscles getting sore and ready to quit. <laughs> Back hurting, leg hurting, everything hurting. But thank y'all when I came to church and was taught. <laughs> Where you think I get that saying from? I'm a real man. Amen. I have to be taught how to be one. <laughs> Spirit says you have need of patience. You get it. You get it just like Carlos if you don't quit. Amen. Hmm? Hallelujah. 
And I'm with you. You'll do a better job than Carlo. Amen. You know what? I kept at it. Came out, became better than Carlo. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we hired, I got Pastor uh, Diaz out there. He wanted to quit. I said, look at Carlo. <laughs> 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 hey, man. So Carlo helped both me and him. He was going to let that little man, little old, this, not him. I can understand it was the rock or somebody, but Carlo? Oh, I, too much pride there, Pastor. I couldn't, I just, uh, Pastor just couldn't let, like, not Carlo. <laughs> Yeah, hey Amen. Y'all getting this in? You can do this. You want to do it, but you gotta. You gotta. But you got. Hey Amen. Yeah. I chose to be like Carlos. <laughs> yeah. Just like you can choose to be one of these Hallelujah. ground. You don't have to be this ground, stony ground where when, when tri uh, tribulation come your way or persecution, persecution arises, arises because of the word. Because of the word. By and by, what, he is by, offended. What? 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 By what? By and by, he is now, offended. Now, this person with a, a, a heart of rock. We get offended at the word real easy. Offended you know the word going to get you. Yeah. Yeah. That one by the wayside don't care what the spirit say. It just, yeah. okay. hey, come church, don't bother them whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just sit there. You crying, yeah. torn up, <laughs> mad at yourself, <laughs> <laughs> discouraging your own self. Yeah. I know about the heart. I was this person. Because yeah. I love to hear the truth. I love to preach it. Hmm? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Husband, be not bitter with your wife. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah, I, I'm glad that you keep me bitter with you. <laughs> you keep me bitter with you. <laughs> and I come to the church and the Spirit said, that's not her. You're doing that to yourself. Yeah. What do you do? We do it to ourselves. We want my own self. That's right. Hallelujah. And I tell you, ain't nobody cried as much as I did. Right. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I still weep today. Right. Not because yeah. nothing that my wife had made me do or say, but she don't do nothing she don't say to. But I cry because of how I used to be. I say to myself, how did I allow the devil get me to do that? Why did I allow him to do that? Amen. Why did I listen to him? But one thing about the devil, he'll tell you to do curse you do wrong, then he'll wear you down. You ought to be shamed yourself. I don't know why you in church. Why try? All that kind of stuff. Why not try? You're gonna go to hell if you don't. <laughs> That's crazy. That's right. <laughs> huh? Amen. You're gonna reap the damnation of hell if you don't. Amen. You better try. Hallelujah. But Paul said, I press for that pride. I come to church. I hear what the Spirit want me to do. I see where I, where I need to be, and I got to press to get there. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. It don't come easy. No, it doesn't. You, you got to press to be what God wants you to be. Amen. You got to press the love of your enemy. Amen. Lord said, if the enemy are hungry, you feed them. If they thirst, you give them. You got to press to do that when you're not used to doing that. You know how you are. I hope you die. Right now. Right now. Some people like me, they wish folks dead. Yeah. That's true. That's how evil we can be. <laughs> what happened to that dog? Got, got ran over it. Um, that's what they get. Uh huh. Yeah. Are y'all with me this morning? Yeah. Come on, let's finish. But uh, arises because of the word. Yes. By and by, he is yes. offended. Offended. He now, also. Now, 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 you, you don't have to be. You stop being that today. That's right. Someone said that's me, but I'm going to change field. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I, the man y'all see today wasn't always this man. I changed fields. Yeah. I chose to be a different, a better field. So when the word, amen, land in this field, it, it can grow. Yeah. I can offer up what God is asking of me. Amen. So that when he do return, I'm going back with him. Yeah. I love y'all, but I'm not going to be left back here with you. It ain't right. 
Come on, read. He also that receives seed among the thorns. Yes. Is he that hears the now, word. Now, there's another person, a thorn. That, uh -huh. This person hear the word. And the cares of and this because world. Because what, what? And the cares, cares of this because world. Because they're so wrapped up with the world. And the deceitfulness of riches. And the riches deceive people. Uh -huh. Chokes the word. The word, it does what with the word? Chokes the word. Always wanting something. Uh -huh. And he becomes. Want to have something. Yeah. Or call yourself, I want to make it. You already made it. You made it to the church. Yeah. The Bible said riches, just, it drowns me. Even these eight folks raising their kids up so they can live off their kids. My grandson comes to me and says, Grandpa, when I become a player, I said, a football player, I'm going to buy you the kind of boat you want. Mm -hmm. Told my heart up, son, I don't want that from you. No. Uh -huh. I want you to serve. I want you to be like your grandpa. Yeah. yeah. I want you to be no famous football player. Amen. Huh? Yeah. All that. All they do is put him in a position to sleep with every woman. Yeah. 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 What the Bible said: pride goes before destruction. Yeah. And a healthy spirit. But what? That's what fame does. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Ain't faithful with their wife or having that kind of thing. Yeah. All the women out there want to sleep with them. Yeah. yeah. Right. Fall into temptation. The Bible said they, Bible said they that we be, we be rich. Themselves. It said they drown themselves and they mm. fall into temptation. And a snare. And a snare. And into many foolish and, many and, hurtful, foolish and hurtful love. Which drown men that drowns men in what, 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 what? what? It only does destroy you. Yes. I could have been a movie star. Uh -huh. I was in the movie. Right. Yeah. I was performing in the movie they were making in Dallas. One thing about the spirit, it always comes when you think you're going to make, 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 make something out of yourself. Yeah. It came right around that time uh -huh. that I had to decide either, hey amen, performing in that movie right. or changing my ways and being holy, I chose to be holy. Yeah. So, when I, uh, he man, so when I called my manager up, I told him that I'm not going to dance in that movie because I had a dance group. <laughs> you know, back in the 80s, everybody was swinging. Oh, yeah. <laughs> everybody was dancing. That was... I don't, what they call that in the eighties? Pop, pop. Oh, no, what? Oh, some else they call it. Oh, that's what I did, but it's something else. <laughs> it's something else. What they? they, they I'm a disco. It was very popular back in those days. Yeah. Yeah, disco. What's the matter, Mother Mary? You, you, you laugh back. What did you say back there? You were popping locking too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was a oh y'all that was right before the break dance and stuff came out. Yeah, uh -huh. Amen. So this this this, this they, back in those days in Dallas they were making a lot of movies in Dallas. Uh, yeah. Dallas became like Hollywood. Yeah, definitely. You know, back in those days. So one of the producers at the club where we was performing come to me and say, "Will you dance in our, in our movie? We're making a movie. You you you, you and your your sisters and then your cousin. So I'm a course. So I lost all the money." Mm -hmm. You know, I got so happy that I said, look at the Lord show is making a way. <laughs> That's what I said. The Lord, the Lord, I said, the Lord did that for me. I was so happy, so when my uncle came and said, who would go to church with me? I said, I'd go. I didn't know I was coming here. But they're going to say, you can't do that. I got mad. Oh, yeah. I became that wayside. <laughs> I didn't want to hear that. What do you mean I can't yeah. dance? God gift gave me a gift to dance. God don't give no man a gift going to cause, he's going to move his body in a way it's going to cause women to want to sleep with him. God, don't, the devil would do that, but not God. But everything God do is holy. Yeah. It's pure. Amen. It's clean. That's right. It don't, it don't lead you to fornication. No. You know what? I humble myself. Called my manager, told him I'm not dancing. You know what he called me? He said, I was a fool. I, I told him about the church. He said, that's a cult that you in. He said, there's a lot of movie stars that go to, that go to church that are saved. Okay. <laughs> I, had, I, I came here and learned that all you know, movie stars are not saved. You can't be kissing and sleeping all with people, touching them and all that. Mm -hmm. Ain't that your wife? Uh, no. <laughs> no, just about all the movie stars. You know it. They go from one man to, one, to another woman. Uh -huh. Their marriage don't last. Yeah. That what fame, that what fame do to you. Yeah. Amen. Marriage don't last. No. Not at all. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, we just acting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'll come up. That's practice. 
Let's let's do our scene over again. (laughs) Hallelujah. Amen. You got a hard time driving down the road, seeing that billboard Uh with that woman with the bikini. Right. Uh And with the man with no shirt on. And they not even chucking. (laughs) (laughs) Then you look at your husband with that belly. (laughs) Look at your wife with that. With, with two necks. <laughs> well, you know you ain't gonna stay in no spirit. <laughs> two necks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I thank Yahweh Hallelujah. that I humble myself. Amen. I chose not to be no movie star. Yes. I chose to be holy, to be what he want me to be. Yes, Lord. Chose not to do those things. But the man said I was a fool. Mm-hmm. The church I go to is a cult. But ain't nothing wrong with this church. No. This church here teach your husband you love your wife. Yeah. Wife, you love your husband. That's right. Your young people avoid fornication. Yeah. It's good for a man not to touch a woman. That was it. Nevertheless, to avoid fornication, fornication, let every man have, have his own, own wife. Right. And let every woman have her own, own husband. husband. It didn't say girlfriend or boyfriend. Amen. In this church, we don't have girlfriends and boyfriends. No, Lord. no touch it. Uh-huh. And if you're touching because you're not that good grand. Amen. Are right. oh, y'all listening to me? Yeah. Watch the word read it. He also that receives seed among the thorns. Y'all getting this here? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is he that hears the word. He that hears the word. And the cares of this because world. Because they hear what we can and can't do, but because we you love the you're so wrapped up with the world. Uh-huh. And the deceitfulness of and, riches. And the deceitfulness of riches. Chokes the word. It does what? Chokes, chokes the word. It chokes what we preach. And he becomes And unfruitful. so therefore you can't be like the rest of us. Amen. Yeah. You become unfruitful. That's what it said. That's what the Spirit said. Yeah. If the Lord was here, this is what He would. This is what He would be telling all of us. Amen. So watch this, Nana. But you don't have to be this ground, though. That's Amen. right. That's the good thing. About Thank it. Yahweh. Hallelujah. Huh? Hallelujah. I'm a living witness. You don't Amen. have to be. Amen. You don't have to be. Amen. Don't, don't get me wrong. I was this ground too. I love the world. Amen. I love dressing like the world, yeah. talking like the world, yeah. acting like every yeah. people I see. Hallelujah. Are oh, you listening to me? Oh, yeah. Back in those days when Michael Jackson was so popular, everybody walked around with one glove. <laughs> Flooding with one glove. One glove. Tight clothes. Because he started. Uh-huh. You got a grown man to my. Grabbing himself and stuff. Yeah, we got some um, 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 Madonnas in here. <laughs> Is that Madonna or Madonna? Madonna. Madonna. Yeah, uh, what's her name? Uh, 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 no, no. Oh, yeah. Beyonce. Uh, <laughs> Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga. <laughs> yeah. Marvin Gaye. <laughs> Selena. Selena. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Six or, three, six or three year old, you still think you're slim. <laughs> Just won't let the lady rest. <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, some of them songs just stick with us, don't uh, And we got to resist that devil. You got to. <laughs> some of them old, old worldly songs, sometimes they come back and creep. Creep in to me, want me to, oh, to yeah. reminisce. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The other day I was just meditating, and then all oh, here come the devil with that song. When I saw, when I first saw you, it was like sparkles in my eye, <laughs> like the stars at night, <laughs> high in the sky. It used to work. I used to label women when I tell them that. <laughs> <laughs> but I come and heard the word. I can't. Quote those, I can't quote. I can't quote those parables. Uh, <laughs> they no good. They no good. They devilish. Sensual. Now I'm holy. Bible say, "He that is merry, let him sing spiritual songs." Yes. Hmm? 
If you're the good ground, you know you can't be singing on worldly songs no more. Right. Oh, she's a brick hat. Oh, you can't sing that no more. She may be a brick hat, but you can't go tell her that. <laughs> you know, these days, the young people when say brick hat, they probably think of something big. Yeah, yeah, they understand. <laughs> I mean, built, built well. <laughs> Back when I was growing up, brick hat, somebody was fine. Built, built, built well. Built, right. I mean, you know, built. <laughs> so, so when y'all young people hear me say brick hat, I'm not talking about a wall. Uh, a warehouse. <laughs> a warehouse. A warehouse. I ain't talking about no warehouse. <laughs> Now, I don't know what they use these days to describe women. Uh, but when we sung that song, that's what that meant. Yeah, still no good. <laughs> but I can't sing it though. I don't care if it's 20, uh, 22, 21. 20, 22. It's 22? Okay. Back in the 80s, that's what we used to say. Yeah. Amen. And I got to remember these spiritual songs. Yeah. When I get happy, I got to remember the spiritual songs. Yeah, right. Amazing grace. Uh, How sweet the sound. That save a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but that's my song now. Amen. Baby, that's my song now. I used to say she's a brick half, but not no more. No more. Hallelujah. Amen. Those songs you're not going to find in my home. You're not going to find on my phone. You're not going to find it with me at all. Because I'm a new creature. Come on, I need to finish. But he that receives seed into the good ground. Now listen to it. How many of you want to be this? If you're not, you can be it. If you are, keep it. Read it again, Pa. But he that receives seed into the good ground. To the good ground. Is he that hears the word. one that hears the word. And understands it. And what, 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 what? And understands it. don't question the spirit. Amen. I understand why the man of God said the man teach. He said we shouldn't steal. I understand that. Why mm-hmm. uh, sister uh, Michelle had to testify? Amen. Yeah. You know she you know not you know not clocking in on time like she's supposed to. That what you're saying? She said that's a form of stealing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's really her examiner stuff because she used to rob stores. Yeah. <laughs> Michelle, I'm telling you about Michelle. See, see, one thing about it, when God working on you, you got a testimony. Yeah. You ain't trying to keep things in the corner. Yeah, man, hallelujah. Yeah. You got a te- Michelle's that type of person. She'll grab, drop them a gas station, fill up and take off. Yeah. Uh-huh. She don't, she work you, you don't think the devil tried something? Well, these days, you got to pay now. But back yeah. in them days, <laughs> back in them days, you know, these days, you ain't getting nothing unless you pay for hers. <laughs> because of people like Michelle. <laughs> Yeah, okay. okay, that's enough telling about all about Michelle problem. <laughs> we got to stop that, too. We like telling everybody what everybody is. The <laughs> Michelle, you work on a job, and you walk up with the same. <laughs> he ain't said nothing about him. <laughs> Did the same thing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because he got it from Big Sister. <laughs> that's right. And those, uh, those, uh, those are Mother Mary keys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. hey. Amen. Uh, oh, y'all listen to me this morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, hear the word. The good ground. Amen. Uh, uh, is he that hears the word yeah. and understands it. And understands. Which also bears fruit. And also, see, not just understand. Bears fruit. But you also bear fruit that you do understand. Amen. And brings Amen. forth some a hundredfold. That's why I don't cuss no more. Yeah. Practice lying. Right. Stealing and whatever. Yeah. Because I understand God wants me to be like him. Yeah. I understand that I got to forgive. Amen. That makes sense to me. I it makes sense when the, when the word when the word of God says forgive and you shall be forgiven. Yeah. Well, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Right. Why would I question why I gotta forgive? Right. And, what, and what do I gotta explain what that person did to me? Amen. Uh-huh. As though it justifies me to be what I am. Yeah. It just make I understand. I want forgiveness. Uh-huh. So I will forgive no matter what a person do to me Amen. or what they may say about me. Right. The words don't, it don't change. It's this. They love your enemy. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes, sir. Amen. If your enemy hungry, you feed them. 
If they thirsty, give them drink. If they ask you to go a mouth, go to. Whatsoever you will have for them to do to you, you do to, do to, do to others. Amen. You treat people the way you want to be treated. Yeah. But you don't do them like they did you. Amen. Yeah. Right. Y'all, y'all listen. Yeah. Well, now, I can only speak for myself. It don't matter what anybody say and do to me. I'm going to forgive. I'm going to act like they never did it. That's what the Lord did. Yes, he did. While he was on that cross, he said, Father, please, please forgive them. They don't know what they do. He didn't threaten nobody when he said, hey, I'm like crazy. when I get down, I'm getting you. And I'm, you know how we are. Uh -huh. and I'm, you back there, I'm going to get you too. Yeah. 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 And all he said, Father, Please. you got to be the good ground act like this. Hallelujah. See, he didn't talk about what they did. No. He heard what they did. Mm -hmm. He saw with his own eyes, but he didn't come into the world to condemn us. No. But we already condemned. Already. I don't need you to tell me how mean I am. I know how mean I am. Amen. So he came to save me from my meanness. Amen. Yeah. Amen. That's, why, that's why the sister said she had to, you know, she, you know, she got to do the right thing on that job. Amen. And because she's going to do the right thing, you know what? It's going to cause her to get up and go to work and be on work on time. Amen. All that playing around the house and, you know, putting, getting the snooze button. All you're going to always, always be still in. Yeah. Call the folks up, clock in. Uh -huh. I'm just right down the street. <laughs> That's still it. Yeah. This, this word will make you holy. But you got to be the good ground, though. Amen. Paul said, if these things, Peter said, if these things be in you and abound, they'll make you that you be neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of Yeshua Messiah. You know what the Messiah want of you. You always have fruit. Right. And read it in the finish. Amen. It all, which also bears fruit. Yes. And brings forth some a hundredfold, uh -huh. some sixty, and some thirty. Yeah, amen. 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 You always bring forth fruit. Yeah. Look around, amen. Hey, that sister got thirty-four. Well, be patient. At least she got some. Uh -huh. Be patient with her. You'll see next time you say she'd be up at sixty. Uh -huh. Yeah. Huh? Yes. Keep on looking at that, but next thing you know, he's a hundred. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But who are you to judge him? Amen. Lord well, said, judge not that you be not judged. But whatever measurement you put upon someone else shall be measured to you again. And why do you sit there and behold the mold that's in your brother high? When you don't even consider the beam that's in your own eye. You hypocrite. First cast out the beam out of your own eye that you may see clearly to pluck the mold out of your brother's eye. Believe me, your brother's not worse off as you describe them to be. According to the words of the Lord. Right. That's right. The person that you think is your enemy is not that worse off that you think. Neither your boss. Amen. You just need to go to work on time. <laughs> right? Yeah. Quit talking and do do what you're supposed to be doing. Quit going on your lunch break, coming back five minutes later. Uh -huh. You know it's a 15 minute break, not 20. Uh -huh. <laughs> man, you're talking about everybody on the job. Wait, well, man, they don't give us enough time for a 15 minute. Well, fix a sandwich and take the work with you. Uh -huh. You don't have to have chilies. <laughs> you know it takes you four to five minutes to get just to get your stuff. That's right. Uh, Y'all with me this morning? Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Am I preaching somebody in the funeral? <laughs> no. That's why we don't write our message down. Amen. If I, if I write my message down, I may miss, miss you. Oh, yeah. But I allow the spirit. Yeah. Uh -huh. As the Lord said, don't even think about what you're going to say. You know what I said? You, 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 that's my preacher. Yeah. Don't even think about what you're going to say to the people. I'm going to give it to you in that same hour. Same hour. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You, you don't know where the people been. Yeah. You, don't know. You, you haven't Amen. seen what they've been doing. So don't, don't write yeah. your message down. I'll give it to you. Amen. It won't, be, it won't be you that speak to the people, but it'll be my Father, which is in heaven, because he sees all things. Amen. That's why I love the church. Yes. I know I can't escape, so it helps me to walk right. Amen. Yeah, I mean, you probably have to escape. We want to have one preacher, but I ought to date a bunch of them. <laughs> so, that, so that the scripture can be fulfilled in the multitude of counselors, they are saved. 
So even if they wrong, they can't get away. Hallelujah. He said, how safe it is to be in church. And you, don't, and you don't have to worry about everybody that's wrong. Right. But don't worry. If they got to come to church. You got to. Eventually. Come on, I need to get through. Come on. Hallelujah. Another parable put he forth to them, saying. Speaking of the Lord, you know, he wants us to understand the church. The yeah. kingdom of heaven is like to a man who sowed good, good seed in the field. in the field. But while men slept, and while men his slept, enemy came the enemy. and sowed tares so, among so, the so, wheat. So you're going to always have enemies. And yeah. went in his way. And he sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung and up. But when the blades were sprung and brought up, forth fruit. And it brought forth fruit. Then appeared the tares then also. Here come the tares also. So the servant so of the householder what, 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 came what, and what said to him. What the Lord is saying here in the church. In the church. You're going to always have both wheat and tares. Yes. Amen. Yes. If you really understand that, you'll never get bent out of shape with everybody is saying it. Doing. Yes. Right. Yes. You're, 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 you wouldn't be surprised. You know, when I went to Bakula, they were surprised. Because there ain't no black folk in uh, Bakula. So even the dogs stopped to look at it. <laughs> and all the babies, they just. <laughs> yeah, they, everything stopped. When I'm, they see me, because they, they never saw a black man in person. Uh -huh. yeah. So they would stop, the dog stopped, the baby stopped, the baby stopped crying. <laughs> <laughs> they get all about their home. They want their bottle. <laughs> when they saw me, they, I didn't get mad. Tomorrow. What's wrong with y'all? What the yeah. fuck? <laughs> Never seen a black man. <laughs> the donkey <laughs> stopped. Everything stopped. Even time stopped. Ain't never seen a black man in person. See him on TV, but not in first. Want to touch my skin? You can't rub that brown off. Some of them say, you got a beautiful skin. I oh, just ain't never seen a black man before, that's all. So I wasn't, you know, like, what y'all looking at? Get mad. I ain't never going back to Pakula. I understood the situation and what Yeshua is trying to get us all to understand here. He wants you to understand about the church. They're going to always be wheat and tan. Always be. But the wonderful thing about this, even if you are a tan, you don't have to be. Amen. If you weak, it's because you chose to be weak. You chose to be that person to come in, hear the word and say amen and walk up and do what you was taught. Yeah. That was a choice. You wasn't made that way. Amen. Many of your sisters, y'all look at Mother Washington, y'all love her. I know y'all do. And everything. No, Rebecca, you keep on, you know, call her. I'm not saying, you know, what I preached the other day is not for you not to call, but for you to have a, a better understanding of what she's going through. If you understand what she go through, then you will, you will want to walk better. Y'all understand that? Yeah. Because that's why she's here. She's here to be, to, to, to support the sister. But that's a choice that Mother Washington chose many years ago mm -hmm. to reverence her husband. Y'all heard her? She said, I, re I refuse to get in the way of my husband. Amen. And you can see the pain in her face while she was talking. You know she was real. Yeah. But that was a sacrifice she chose to make. Amen. And then this sister can be that. Amen. Any one of them can be Mother Washington. That's right. What y'all see, what y'all see in the Mother Washington, not Mother Washington, but Yeshua. Oh yeah. That's how Yeshua was to everybody. Amen. He, he didn't mistreat nobody. He didn't judge no one on the outward appearance. No, he didn't. Didn't condemn nobody. Nobody. He just did what, that what was right. Amen. He said, "I always do those things that please my Father." That's what's that, that's his testimony. Amen. Amen. You got to have that same testimony too. I always do those things that please my Father. Yeah. But you got to be that good ground to do that. Amen. That's right. That's right. a choice. Yeah. I made that choice. That was the time in my life I was all three of these, these, these fields I read at the beginning. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Amen. And I said, if I'm going to come to church, I'm going to be right. I'm going to have to start denying myself and, yeah. and work on my spirit. Amen. And quit being mad at everybody. Right. Yes. I know about being mad at everybody in church. I've been there. Amen. They don't love me. 
<laughs> because they don't agree with your ways. Amen. Right. Yeah, even I thought my own wife was against me. But she had a right to be. When I'm snapping a purse, turning it upside down, taking all the money out of it. Amen. And I only did that, call myself, you know, I'm going to teach you. I know about all that as men. Amen. Amen. See, look at your man act like I'm normal. <laughs> Every brother here can bear witness of this. Amen. All of us. Oh, yeah. I, I, but I, I, I'm able to talk about it because I've overcame it. Right. I don't do it no more. Right. Amen. Right. I get that bird, snatch it from it. When, when I allow the devil come into me, that's when she get in the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling the devil, play tag with your tag. Don't try to be the devil. Yeah. And tag. brother, my goodness, yeah. you think the devil's bad in our wives? Uh -huh. oh, you know how it is when it get in us. Oh, yeah. We don't like talking. We like using our hands and stuff. Oh, yeah. Ben Jan said, you just a foley like a tile. <laughs> 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 yeah. Like a laundry. He said, I wouldn't hit her, but I'll show a folder. Yeah, he's so good. <laughs> yeah, he's twisting. <laughs> <laughs> he said, I'll twist it. Yeah, he said, I'll twist it. <laughs> so, you know, he's in that game, oh. Twister. I did that without that game. You know, put your right foot on the blue. You put your yellow and hit your right hand on the yellow. Yeah. I take that purse, I turn it upside, and she knows she, she better back off when the devil get in me. So she'll back off. I'm gonna go crazy. <laughs> and I would go crazy too. And come to church, I'd be torn up. Don't want to conduct praise sir. Amen. <laughs> sitting, sitting back there by the door, that ain't my seat. Uh. The door was never my seat. I wasn't even the urchin. <laughs> what, what I'm doing back there, taking the urchin seat, that you gotta go sit in my seat. I'm just telling you I've experienced. I hated myself. I didn't like what I saw. And every time that word, word went forward, it was speaking the truth about me. I knew I had to do something. Hallelujah. I knew I couldn't keep on coming to church because I wasn't going to quit. I mean, don't get me wrong, I thought about it. I may walk out that door, but I wasn't gone too long. Conjure kept saying, now what are you doing? What are you doing? Well, God told you, Elijah, what are you doing out here, Elijah? Why are you doing out here? Mm -hmm. And of course, Elijah began to explain, well, uh, that, uh, uh, Jezebel, you know her, Lord. <laughs> she killed all the prophets. And I'm the only one left. The Lord said, hey, what you talking about? Man of God, I got 10,000 prophets who have not bowed down to Jezebel. Amen. Amen. Always somebody doing this thing. Always. Y'all we have not left himself without a witness. So when you choose to do the right thing, then you become his witness. Hallelujah. I mean you want to be a witness of the Lord. Then you got to be that good ground. The Lord said, you are my witness and the servants whom I have chosen. Am I not Yahweh? Is there anything too hard for me? Nothing. Let me work it out. Let me fix it for you. That's right. Come on, let's get through. Hallelujah. Amen. But when the so when the servant of the household came and said to him, yeah. Sir, did not you sow good seed in and, your field? And see, we always want to talk. Mm -hmm. It's best yeah. to have the picture. Yeah. It's best to this, don't know the good man know what's, what's he and what's going on. Amen. Why do we got to get involved with it, with what somebody did? Right. right. Why do we want to talk about what somebody did? Amen. It don't help us when you do that. No. The Bible calls that person a busybody. Uh, and right. other Hello, men man. matter. It's not yours. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. I know what Sarah did. But you didn't do it. So why you worry about Sarah? 
Right. She chunked that snow cone at her husband. <laughs> Got it all over his, his suit. <laughs> no, no, she did. Yes, she did. She just, just chunked it. You know how the spirit come out? Mrs. chunked that phone. She chunked, he, she chunked that uh, snow cone just like that. Got all over his glasses and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, uh, uh, Ella Cruz didn't fall down the step. Mother pushed him. <laughs> pushed him down the step. Yeah, they be, they be lying. That's why his leg broken. That's why he ain't been coming to church. She pushed him down. She helped him. Down them steps. She's a black widow. <laughs> She's a black widow. <laughs> Yeah. Amen. Oh, that's, not, that's, not, that's not Jonathan, baby. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's somebody else, baby. Justine got 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 by the food about by Joanna. <laughs> That's just makeup stuff. <laughs> Are y'all with me? Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. When we know God is love. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And I don't care how wrong a person he is. Listen to me. And you listen to me carefully. I don't care how wrong a person is. Yeah. Charity. Covers a multitude of sins. Charity. Amen. Charity. Covers a multitude of sins. All the stuff you want to talk about. Yeah. Covers a multitude. If you really had God in you, you you'd be quiet. Because you'll cover it up. Yes. That's what charity do. You think we letting people get away with murder. No. Charity covers a multitude of sins. Covers. Don't you want God to cover up all your sins? Yes, God. Of course you do. Hallelujah. Should not you do the same? Yes. Because of God in you, uh -huh. you would do the same. Amen. It covers a multitude of sins. That's what charity does. Charity overcome evil with good. That's what charity do. Charity don't boast itself. It don't behave itself unwisely neither. It's kind. It's patient. Long suffering. I will wait till you change before I run you down. Because it's not giving me to run you down. Just like the Lord waiting on all of us this morning to get right. If you're not right, he can he woke you up this morning. Amen. Hoping that you get right. Yeah. Examine yourself. Buttercup, yeah. she will examine her. You have to. Yeah. Talking about her marriage. You got that's your husband. Yeah. I don't care how wrong he treats you. You're supposed to love him. You're supposed to do him. So the scripture may be fulfilled. How knowest thou, O wife? Yeah. That through your chase, you may have a devil for a husband. You just may have one. Don't get me wrong. Uh -huh. Naaman was a uh, 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 neighbor was a devil. Yes, he, was. he was nothing like his wife Abigail. Amen. Cruel. He was a cruel man. That's yeah, what he said. So was his name. But she had to do what she had to do to save herself, yeah. and she did it. Yeah. Hallelujah. You may have a husband for a devil. You may have a wife for a devil, but you God charging you to love him. Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, Paul said in the Corinthians, God commands the light to shine out of the dark. Commands it. He commands the light. Don't, don't talk about how messed up your life is because it does no need to do that because God is commanding the light to shine out of darkness. 
And just like Paul said, that shine in our hearts. And we have this treasure in our earth. earth yeah, the body get upset. Yeah. Hallelujah. But you know how to control yourself. Yeah. Huh? You know how to get it wrong because somebody else is wrong. Hallelujah. You have to treat somebody, amen, in, 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 a, in a way that's not right because they're not treating you right. You can always do that which is right. That's yeah. something I had to learn to do. Amen. My wife and I, we learned to do this. Yes. Yes. Don't, don't, don't say we lucky. No. Amen. Yeah, you, well, you got you got carried for a wife. <laughs> oh, my wife was no different than your wife. Amen. You got, mother wife, you got pastor washing for a husband. I'm no different than no man in here. She's no different than any old woman in here. We all got the same flesh on. Yeah. All of a sudden, by one blood, God created all flesh. Awesome. I am you, you are me. It's just that I chose to be the good ground. She chose to be the good ground. Amen. That's right. Hallelujah. Our brother and sister, if they're good ground, the bodies are brother and sister, not under such like bondage. Is that what it said? You ain't going to find no arguments and and not getting along in the uh -huh. in, in the house when amen if the brother and sister are the good ground. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. 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 you talk to God. Amen. Wife, your body is not yours. It's your husband. Amen. amen. Husband, your body is not yours. It's your wife. Amen. The husband have no power over his own body, but his wife. Amen. The wife have no power over her own body, but the husband. Amen. So who are you to tell your companion, don't touch me? Amen. 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 Then I go bring her some, some, some roses. She get it and throw it in the trash can. Mm -hmm. What you do that for? I ain't gonna look at that. Look, 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 look what I done. Right. I need to be patient. Yeah. I put her in the position to throw the roses away. Now I never take nobody no more roses. Mm -hmm. You niggas know, ain't nobody doing nothing for one another in the house. Amen. Then what do you think gonna happen when the Lord returns? Amen. You're both gonna be left back here. Yeah. So I kept on buying the roses till she stopped throwing them away. That's what you're supposed to do, overcome evil with good. You keep on doing good until a change comes. Are y'all listening to me this morning here? You keep on doing good. Yeah. Thank God so good, you know, I would buy those fake roses. She didn't want the real thing. <laughs> Hallelujah. She liked the plastic one. Mm -hmm. But as our marriage began to get better and better, you know, she said, I want, you can stop buying me the plastic. I'll take the real one. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Man, the only reason why she wanted the, the fake one is because they didn't die. Amen. You know, my wife, you know, she had a house clean. She don't want to, she don't want to walk in the living room with pebbles on the floor. Mm -hmm. Those fake ones, you know, they, they won't kick over and she don't have to worry about back, but she has back in the living room. All she got to do is pick up that one pebble, but she got she got a back in the whole. But she liked them real flowers, man. Amen. Them real strawberry with chocolate on it. Yeah. Anyone, every married couple can have this kind of relationship. Amen. But you got to change. Amen. Come on, let me get through. I got Amen. 15 minutes. Come on, let's get He said to them, an enemy has done this. An enemy has done this. The servant said to him, let will the you spirit, then? Let the spirit talk to you. We're uh -huh. letting the devil come talk to you about what's going on. Yeah. Amen. So the man said, an enemy have done this. Will you then that we go and gather them up? Now look at that, how they responded. So you need to let the spirit tell you what to do and show you what. Now they don't mean no harm. Right. These people don't mean this. The servant don't mean no harm. Lord, do you want us to go cut those, that, those up? Those, those uh, tears, tears huh? Uh -huh. But he said, no. That's why you gather up the tears. See, see, that's how they're going to deal with it. That's yeah. why you cannot fix nothing in your life. 
Amen. You can't fix. All you're going to do is tell others. You're going to destroy others when you put your hand to it. Right. You, uh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You got to be taught what to do. Amen. You must be born again. Yeah. Hallelujah. That's why the Bible said, obey them that have the rule over you and submit yourself. For they watch for your soul, not only yours, but everybody else. Your foolish decision can destroy your whole house. Amen. Yeah, it sure can. And the sad thing about it, we don't see it. Amen. Amen. Until it's too late. Right. And this man don't, these servants don't mean no harm. Will you then that we go and gather them up? No, I don't want you to gather them up. Leave them alone. But he said, no. No. Lest while you gather up the tares, yes. you root up also the wheat with them. You root up the wheat also. Amen. Let both grow together. Let them, I'm, get this here. You can, you can be a fool all the days of your life. Now, we'll grow together. Uh -huh. You can come and act like you never heard nothing that was taught. Hmm? That's fine with me. Hallelujah. I'm not going to get bent all out of shape. I'm not going to jump in the car and make my wife and run you down. You know? I don't do that. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. We ain't going to talk about folks' weakness in the church. Or folks know when they weak. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. well, I thank Yahweh for the minister in, in, in Mexico. He's learning. that you can't Amen. make nobody do this here. Hallelujah. Because people is not lining up, don't think that your work is in vain. Because right. not. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, I'm tired of running, Pop. Amen. That's what I've been waiting to hear you say. Amen. That's what he told you. I'm tired of running. Because he's not used to, you know, you know, dealing with pressure. He likes just taking off. I said, you ain't going to never be shaped. You keep on running. Amen. Stay there. That's what the Lord wants you to stay there. Water what was planted. Don't worry about opening up mysteries and all that. I'll just water what was planted. You do that. That'll be sufficient. Hallelujah. That's right. Oh, y'all listen to me. Amen. Yes, Amen. Hallelujah. We can grow old together. But I can't make you live right. Amen. I can't make no husband love their wife like they was taught. I can't make no wife honor their husband like they was taught. I can't, I can't make no father be the father he's supposed to be. Or uh, a, a mother to be the kind of mother she's supposed to be. Or the children to be what they should be. Mm -hmm. I can't make you do. Amen. And I'm not here to make you. Amen. I'm here to show you, yes. amen, how you are to walk. Amen. Yeah. And how you are to serve the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yeah. If you're a tear because you choose to be a tear, mm -hmm. you don't have to be. Amen. You can be weak, a weak. Now listen to this before we leave here. Listen to this here. Read it again. Let's now. both grow together. Let them both grow together. Until the harvest. Until the harvest. And in the time of, harvest, the time of the harvest, I will say to the, I reapers, will say to the reapers, gather you together gather first, the the tares, first the tares, and bind them and in bundles bind them to burn them. Bundles to be burned. But gather the wheat into but my gather barn. gather the wheat into my barn. Another parable. And another parable. Put he forth to, he them, put saying, forth to them, saying, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a grain of a mustard seed. grain of mustard seed. Which a man took and sowed in his field. This is what the church is all about. Like a grain of mustard seed. Yes, sir. Which a man took and sowed in his field. He sowed in his field. Which indeed is the and least of all seeds. the seed is least, so the first person in the church, you think ain't nothing to. If but when that person get their mind right, this is what will happen to that person. Amen. Understand this is what the church is all about. The church is up to save sinners. Amen. So if you are a sinner, yeah. and you hear the word and you see that you're not right with God, yeah. it don't make no difference what you did in the past, Amen. what you used to be. Yeah. You, this, amen. The mustard seed is the smallest seed of all seeds. Amen. But when it is grown, but when you get that word in you, it is the greatest of all seeds. don't mess up your life. Yeah. Yeah. You get that word in you. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You will grow. Yeah. And everybody will feed over you because you made that change. Yes, you decided. Amen. Yeah. That's why we can't criticize people. That's right. Paul said he was chief among sinners. Mm -hmm. But look what the men did. It changed his life around. Yes, yeah. it did. I, I, you know, when I'm talking to y'all, you that this, you know, that's weak and fine, deceptive skirt. I never run you down. I always tell you you can do it. Amen. Even when you say you can't do it. Every time. 
I tell you, I believe in you when you don't even believe in yourself. You can do this. Every one of us can do this here. Oh, yeah. You got to want to do it. Yeah. Come on, read it. I need to get through. I got 10 minutes. Read, read. Amen. Which indeed is the least of all seeds. Read it. But when it is grown, yes. it is the greatest among herbs. Hallelujah. And becomes a tree. And we need to grow. Amen. Yeah. And you become great among all the earth. And becomes become a tree. tree. Mm -hmm. So that the birds of the air come and lodge in the branches yes. thereof. Another parable spoke each of them. Parable the kingdom of heaven is like a leaven. The church of the world. The yes. church. Amen. Yes. It's like what? Unto leaven. Amen. Unlike the leaven. Which a woman took a woman and took hid in three and measures of meal. Measure meal. Till the whole was leavened. Yes, sir, until everything was leavened. All these things spoke All Yahshua things to the spoke multitude Yeshua in parables. To the multitude in parables. And without a parable without spoke a parable, he not to them. He did not speak to them. That it might be fulfilled, that which was spoken by the prophet, saying. So every example that I use is a parable. Yeah. You may not like the example. Sometimes you may think I'm going too far. Uh -huh. But you see yourself. Yeah. That's the thing. You see yourself. Yeah. Right. Sometimes you make things too personal, but you see yourself. Amen. Amen. Oh, yeah. Now, sister, uh, uh, Buttercup, she was saying on that job. See, that situation caused her to see herself. Amen. Yeah. 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 Everything that happened to us so that we can see ourselves. Eight minutes. Come on, read, read, read. They might be fulfilled with the spoken by the prophet, saying, read, read. I will open my mouth in parables. I will, I will utter things that have been kept secret from kept the foundation of the from world. The foundation of then Yahshua some was things that your parents couldn't share with you. Mm -hmm. If you come in here, it's like you're naked before God. Amen. Word go forth, you're just naked. You know that you are. Yeah. That, that kept secret. Yeah. yeah. From the foundation from of the, the world. The day you came into this world. But this day, you're going to know about yourself. Amen. Come on, read. Then Yahshua sent the multitude away. He sent them away. And went into the house. Read, read, read. And the disciples came to him, saying, Declare to us the parable of the tares of the field. Read it. And the answer said to them, He that sows the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The, the good seed. The one that sows the seed is what? Son of the man. son of man. In other words, God going to use men to talk to you. That's right. And Yeshua is not here, but God is still using the sons of men. That's I right. I am a man born of a woman. That's right. The field is the Just world. Just like you was born of the woman. Yeah. And the field is what? The world. Is the world. The, world. the good seed are the, the children of the kingdom. The good seed are the children of the kingdom. But the tares are the children the of the wicked one. The children of the wicked. Don't you know mm -hmm. if, you, if you are tared because you're wicked. Your ways are wicked. Hallelujah. You don't do, you don't do anything that the spirit wants you to do. You won't present your body to God. You won't be nothing he tell you to do. But yet you come to church and you hear the word go right. Amen. Y'all listening here? Yeah. Oh, y'all listening to me? Yeah. Read it. The enemy that sold them is the devil. And the enemy that, that sold them sold is them. the devil. Who is working in us when we ain't right? The devil. Who is working in us when we're not right? The devil. Who is working in us when we're not right? The devil. Father, you've not been the husband, the father that we have taught you to be. Who is working in you? The devil. The devil. Mother, you've not been the mother that the scripture taught you to be. Who is working in you? See, it's not you. Amen. Every evil we do because Satan is in us. Amen. Huh? You can't Amen. live a holy life with unless God is in you. Amen. That's right. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. You can't do neither one without one of those spirits. Are y'all listening to me? Amen. It's important you understand that. So I want everyone to slow down and think about that everything you do, I want you to slow down and begin to think about that when you do something, it's a spirit in you. It's not just you. Right. There's a spirit working in you. Amen. Things that you're interested in, it because of the spirit in you mm -hmm. that got you so interested in that very thing that you want to know. Amen got to be a spirit. Right. One thing I know about the Holy Spirit from above, God is not the author of confusion. Amen. Oh, y'all hear, hear what I just said? Amen. He is not the author. I don't care how true it is. It can be, it's, it can be, it can be double true. But God ain't going to tell it to you. He'll hide it from you. Yeah. 
because he's not the author of confusion. Mm -hmm. Why you think some folks when they get drunk they tell the truth? Amen. Oh, they just spill everything. You get a little lick in them, and they spill everything. Uh -huh. And I'm telling you, it's the truth. And I know I'm drunk, right? Because some people can't tell the truth unless they get drunk. Uh -huh. <laughs> <It's the> truth. <laughs> some people can't be true unless they drunk. But, they, but the truth they tell is, is, is somebody else's truth. Uh -huh. It's not about themselves. No. Uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, them William brother robbed that. They didn't want to rob that bank, but you the one came up with it. You ain't gonna tell me you the one told me you can make a lot of money. I know how. I, I, I can tell you how you can get out of trouble. You know, at three o'clock, I used to work at Bank One. At three o'clock, ain't nobody there. Just two people. Right? Huh? No. Amen. Come on, let's get through. The enemy that sold them is the devil. Read, read. The harvest is the end of the world, yes. and the reapers the are the angels. The harvest is the end of the world, the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in the fire, yes. so shall it be at the end of this That's world. That's how it's going to be. Y'all better listen. Yeah. Because you want to love. So shall it be. In the end of in this the world. End of this world. The Son of Man the shall Son send forth man his angels. Shall send forth his and they shall gather it, out of it, his kingdom all things here, that offend. When I read this here, it put fear in it. But he's telling me exactly what's going to happen. Amen. The Son of Man, what? Shall send forth shall his angels. Send forth his angels. And they shall gather out of and his they kingdom. And shall gather up out of his kingdom. Out of his kingdom. Kingdom, his kingdom is the church. Yeah. All things that offend. All things that uh, what, what offend. Is? All you that ain't learn how to walk right. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And them which won't do iniquity. Won't forgive. Oh, won't love like you're supposed to. Yeah. Won't do right on the job like you spoke to. Mm -hmm. Amen. Don't you know, my wife, she was testifying. She said, it hurts me when I see a brother and sister not loving one another. Well, that offends us. Uh -huh. So those are the ones God going to gather up, those that offend. And then would you do iniquity? Because she said, I love the church. I, I care about the church. And she do. Amen. I'm the one made it known, not her. I'm telling you. That my wife gets sick when, when brothers don't love their wife like they're supposed to. Their wife don't love their husband like they're supposed to. Amen. Mm -hmm. Or whatever it is that we're not doing. Amen. She right. throws up. Amen. Can't keep food down. And then when people got their mind right, they're doing the right thing, she's healed. She's not doing all that. Mm -hmm. So, cause she said, see, y'all have to understand, sister, especially among you sisters, it's her phone that keep ringing. Even if you're not calling someone else here. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I know the burden it is because, you know, uh, I've been there. Yeah. I don't get admitted phone call. You know, before I used to get all the sisters phone calls. <laughs> hey, y'all, we were my wife. <laughs> so she gathers those phone calls now. And her phone rings all day long. I'm almost through. I got three minutes. Her phone <laughs> ring all day long. And when she get quiet now, I don't hear nothing in that room. Amen. I get up and go in that chick room. She got this sad look on her face. And that's just sitting in the bed talking to the Lord. Amen. Don't you know, you, you know whenever we don't do what's right to do, we offend Y'all, the Lord is telling you, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to gather all. He shall send forth his angels, and yes. they shall gather out of his kingdom. Out of the church, of the word. All things that all offend, things that offend, and them which do iniquity. And them that do the wrong thing. Uh-huh, and shall cast them and into a furnace of fire. cast them into a fiery furnace. Yeah. There shall be and wailing shall and be gnashing wailing. of teeth. Y'all getting that? Amen. You better mark this in your book. Yeah. And there shall be wailing, wailing and gnashing of teeth. How many of you ever been burned before? That fire ain't come, it's not going to come close to this fire here. No. Then shall the righteous. So, brothers and sisters, the spirit spoken. Yes. Choose this day who you're going to serve. Amen. May Yahweh bless you. May Yahweh keep you. I want to thank Yahweh for our visitor we have here uh, yes. this morning. Amen. Uh, I, what's your name? Danny, welcome. You're welcome. You're always welcome here. Service in the hands of uh, the teacher that's received by saying praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Thank <laughs> you.
Praise you always, saints. We thank you. I may be seated. Thank you for the words that come forth. Know that they are right on time. Amen. Now it's time to go further into our service. Is there any announcements? Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. Uh, we will be serving food after service, and it is free. And we also have tea to go with the food. But if you don't want the tea, you have to pay for the drinks that are already at the church. Amen. And today, after service, we will be having choir practice as well. So please be prepared to stay after. And also, brothers and sisters, dudes are due today. If I can give them to Sister Amen. Justine. And also, it is the new month, so we have a new cleaning list. So sisters, if y'all can go and look at y'all's new job. Amen. Anything else? Praise Yahweh. Praise Yahweh. I just want to start by one card and uh, on the same page. When uh, they received the, uh, at the end, after they finished preaching the message, they said, let me uh, bring up a uh, teacher pecan or Andrew Chillers. If you're not standing, you're not wrong. Just want everybody to clarify that. They only ask us to stand when they bring up the two that's going to preach. But when the announcement, they, that's why they say, don't say that as I'll stand to receive this because it's ending the service. Uh, I just stand anyway to show the respect, but I just want everybody to know the reason why. Because a lot of sitting down, we don't want nobody to think it's being disrespect. It's only when they receive the two that are going to be speaking the word but not doing it now. <clears throat> Anything else? If not, for those who need prayer, come up. We'll mm. launch ahead and the pastor will pray for you. Let's all rise. Bow your heads. Lift your hearts and your minds. Lord Yahweh. <clears throat> Heavenly Father Yahweh, we come before you through your son's name, Yahshua the Messiah. We thank you for allowing us to walk into your home to hear your beautiful words, Father Yahweh. We ask that you help us to, to obey and, and do what you're asking of us, Lord Yahweh. Each and every day that you allow us to be a part of. We pray for the saints here, the saints in Arlington, the saints in Mexico, Father Yahweh, wherever the saints may be, Lord. We ask that you continue to give us the minds that we need to overcome ourselves and this wicked one, Father Yahweh. Without you in our lives, we're nothing and we will fail. We give thanks unto Yahweh for he is good and his mercy endures forever. Let Israel now say that his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endures forever. Let them now who fear Yahweh say, His mercy endureth forever. His mercy endureth forever. The church says, 